Good luck. Turn. And immediately sprint inside the cave. Oh, oh shit. Ah! D22, roll initiative. Sir. Sir. All right, nerds. Oh, all right, don't don't be jealous. We're all nerds here. Yeah. That's fine. And on that note, welcome to Lives Your Dice. My name is Matt Bateman. I am your game master, dungeon master, storyteller for this evening. It is great to be here for episode twenty-four once again. Joined as always by the shattered brink, Sharmini Bundle, the destiny confronting David Cox, the great significance, Guy Samuels, <laughs> the ramification rendezvous, Rose Red on, and this is breaking down substantial boundaries. It's Sasha Burgoyne. I got absolutely rinsed last time for saying cybernetic, uh, beeping <laughs> Sasha Burgoyne, because cybernetic doesn't start with an S. Not that it matters, it's how it sounds, not how it's spelled. But it, it does absolutely matter. matter. It absolutely matters. doesn't. It does We're all still happy with Caleb Cox, right? Yeah. I mean, it'd be super embarrassing if you'd not said anything like double uh, <laughs> for that one. I'm getting the strangest sense of deja vu right now. <laughs> I, know. I don't know why. <laughs> David deja vu? De Oh, oh vu. Dave Vu. vu, yeah. Uh, I was no, gonna no, say no. Dave Javu, but that didn't quite work. Yeah. Even so even like David even Javu. Jeffer was impressed with that out the Thank back. You. Uh, but you. yeah, it's good. We're all good. All good. Happy to be here. Well, things are good. Uh, don't have a massive fight on our hands, and things aren't definitely terrible That'll or dangerous. Um, but before we jump into whatever this is, uh, as a quick note, we're all gonna be at Dragon Meat Saturday Woo! the third, DragonMeat.co.uk in, in Hammersmith, yeah. London. Come say hi, hang out. Uh, we're on a couple of panels. So Do you want a couple of games? You, uh, maybe something with our RPGs. Yes. Maybe, maybe Sharmini will be uh, DMing me as well, oh which is going to be amazing. It's, it's going to be, be great. Coolest day ever. Guy oh. and I are just going to be chilling there. So please come say hi to us. Please come say <laughs> hi. Rose and I are going to try and put out the fires of uh, a certain action hero, and it's going to be great. Yeah. And I'm going to be a certain cute animal, maybe, and uh, twisting my very inner being Cyril? in essence. We did talk about, so we're going to have to wait and come, come check it out. You already are a cute animal to me. Oh, Aww. You're not getting inspiration, David. <laughs> uh, I already have it. So before we start, <laughs> instead of throwing a question or letting you guys torture each other with some information, how is everyone feeling about the fights? Anyone have any thoughts they want to drop? Any, 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 <gasps> any musings, David? What's, what's going to happen? I mean, well, Sash and I have spent a decent amount of time trying to figure this out. Well, yeah. Sash. No, Sash. I heard a T. It sounded like Tash. Um, Look, you've no idea how my name's spelled know, anyway. It's fine. I've, I've um, said this one. Tasha. I'll say it a thousand more times. I think rap battle. <laughs> uh, no, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Rose. <laughs> um, I think that Sarek's life is the last component in whatever fucking Ooh, juju spell he's doing. Mm. So we're actually going to be robbed the satisfaction of avenging Mayway's death. <gasps> you can't, um, we yeah. can't kill him. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant like a kind of like uh, Emperor Palpatine, like he wants us to kill him. Yes, I think oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could oh. be that. Strike me down. But either way, yeah. either way, he's just kind of going to be like, oh, wait, yeah, no, go that's, and that's not attack and not do anything oh, fun. No, not as satisfying. That's what I said. Yeah, but you sound devastated. I'm uh, oh, I'm a bit worried because I feel like Zask is like living on borrowed time right now. Yeah. <laughs> Matt tried really hard to kill him, failed. It's okay, Alexia. Managed to kill Mayway. Has the taste for blood. <laughs> um, I feel. And now, like you've been building up to this this fight for how many? The whole campaign. Too right? long. Too long. Yeah. Mm. It's session zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Session and zero. I'm just, fuck. Our session zero was yeah. Eric. Oh fuck. I just wandered in, being like, oh, I'll have a nice little like. Oh no, Matt's trying to kill us all so that he lives up to the name of the show. Everybody lived for too long. <laughs> now, we day. didn't dice enough. We didn't dice enough. <laughs> no, you diced too hard, D22. <coughs> What's going to happen? I think D22 is so betrayed that he's probably going to team up with Sarek. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Guys, Sammy, if you fucking Never. bring that shit. You know, it actually Never. wouldn't surprise me. We Never. kill you first. <laughs> we kill you first. I would leave. <laughs> it would be I so betrayed. Be <laughs> I might switch sides a lot. <laughs> and then we realize. Oh, please switch sides. <laughs> I like to <it> come <laughs> And then we'd realize Guy has known how to play D&D perfectly. <laughs> 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 Like yeah, that's a bonus action. That's some real usual suspect. Spoilers <laughs> oh, if you haven't seen it. Sorry, it's very old. There's no excuse. Go watch it. And as the one voice of reason in this room, it seems. Oh please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. You're welcome. Um, you, you can try. <laughs> what? Oh, voice of reason. Sorry, can't. Um. I know I'm not. No one no, is. No one is a voice of reason We're here. All insane. <laughs> Excuse me. It's um, here. Actually, I, yeah. I think that you'll find that I have always been the voice of reason in this group. Anyway, Sasha. <laughs> do you want to do something stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
No, I'm basically like, I think that maybe, yeah, there's something weird going on with obviously this weird floating spectre and maybe he is like waiting for it to be like murdering him will be the final like conclusion because he said something about the weird thing about him being in pieces. Um, So like, yeah, I get the feeling that he's kind of looking forward to us murdering him, which concerns me. Um, Yeah. There's one way to find out, because I'm going to live up to the Mayway May- burying Matt Bateman name. Oh. Uh, in poor taste, though. It's very poor taste, but that's all right. I'm the Matt, you like our friendship, right? <laughs> <laughs> just just remember that. Yeah. Ups, ups and downs, ups and downs. Um, <laughs> mostly ups. You're damn right. Oh, I love you, David. I love you. I have no <laughs> <laughs> Not when you keep killing him. No, no, that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I just get them to make better friends. Killed for me, my so. character. <laughs> well, let's not delay the inevitable any longer. So, <laughs> get a perm, settle it. I can't remember why I said that. Last oh, because time. we had. <laughs> oh yeah. Because it's the side of here last time. Now you've broken the time space continuum. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who all up in this. Get comfortable. Put your feet up. Make some camera <laughs> tea. Come like down. It's cold. You. And let's get ready for episode twenty-four of Who Lives, Who Dies. When we last left our heroes, they had recently camped on the peak of the mountain with Ark and Treasure, um, taking some shelter after, working in some sort of tense peace in the meantime. The next morning, D22, still stewing and uneasy with his sheer hatred and dislike of stone giants, disagreed heavily with the rest of the party, and after realizing that they may indeed begin to seek their help despite previous conversations, after some very short and potentially hurtful words, D22 turned invisible and left. The party, shaken but realizing the threat that Sarek had left in front of them, began to make their way down the mountain before running into a youthful, athletic male half orc on their way back up the mountain, delivering some goods to the stone giants. A quick encounter, and this half orc, named Fabian, as they would soon learn, soon restored favor between the party and the stone giants and after making their case managed to strike a deal in which the party would be lent the smaller warforged named mini provided that zask made a vow to not partner with d22 who had insulted the stone giants when attempting to ruin their art (laughs) on the back of mini and freshly rested the party took the next couple of days working their way towards Frost from Mine, Sarek taunting through messages and scrying. Arriving at the mine, they found little resistance. A frost giant at the front stood guard and was immediately melted in front of their eyes. Not wanting to trigger any traps, they came in through the back door, unlocked and walked in to a well-lit mine shaft with thousands of crystals littering the floor and Sarek Cave Fury standing proudly at the front, finishing or starting a ritual, all while continuing to taunt the party. A black crystal rose from the furnace, and Sarek held it aloft in his hand, with a specter of death suddenly appearing further back, paying no attention to our friends. And now, as the rest of the team face down this seemingly impossible task, which has been many weeks in the making, we are going to instead ask everyone to leave except for Guy. (laughs) What? I love this so much. 
I'm taking this don't, so I can remember. Don't fuck it up, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is a good lad. Guy, go. save us. Save us. It's going to be good, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, guys. I got this. <laughs> You're a good man. You're a good man. I wish you were getting that on camera. I should see what he was saying. D22. Mm -hmm. It is two days earlier, and you have just had a rather heated argument with Alexi and Myla. Despite your pleadings and your obvious well-made case of your mistrust of stone giants in general, the party still seemed intentive, though not directly allying with them, seeking out their help. And after some rather hurtful words between yourself and Myla, you said, this is not see you later, this is goodbye, turned around and walked out the cave into the wilderness, turning invisible so that you could not be seen or heard by your friends. Mm -hmm. You wait a short amount of time you see the party collect themselves and begin walking down the mountain. You watch from a distance as a young, male, masculine, quite built figure meets the party and they stop and they seem to pause for a moment. You can't quite make out what is being said, but over the next hour or so, you watch the party head back. You watch them confer with the stone giants. You watch parlay seem to take place. Would you like to get closer or would you like to watch from a distance? You are no longer invisible. I ignore all of this. I'd like to watch from a distance, please. Sure. Uh, make a perception check for me, please. Oh dear. Uh, ten. Okay, with a ten. With a ten, you manage to still make out Myla, Alexi, and the other figure. Step away, and you see Tresher, the female half-giant, step forwards with his ask. After about five, ten minutes of conversation, a bright pink light flashes for an instant. The two star giants stand, walk away, but now a third hulking figure appears. As the Warforged Titan, not the Colossus that you've been seeking, but the smaller unit, was now being ridden as Zask climbed on the back of it and began to make their way down the mountain as a collective with the stone giants watching on. Is there anything else you'd like to do? Can I see any... Um, obviously, I see my friends. Have I got much perception of what else is in the, the vicinity, value-wise? I mean, you mentioned right at the start before, obviously, I've metagaming, but there's crystals no, and things course, around. Like, what, what, what can I see from what's littered around the environment as well? Sure. Um, if you'd like to, you can get closer and do an investigation check, um, but I'll need a stealth check as well <coughs> beforehand to do a proper investigation yeah. of okay. that. Yeah, okay. I'll just uh, stealth, so... Oh, it's a natural 20 plus 6. He's stealthy when he's pissed. Stealthy and healthy. D22 slowly makes his way down the mountain, his friends seeing no sign, nor sight, nor sound. You creep up and see that the two stone giants are working away, paying little mind to their surroundings around them. Um, if you would like to make an investigation check to see what else is around you, man. That's a ten. With a ten looking through, it's mostly scraps, springs, plates of brass and copper bent in weird shapes, leftover bits that have been scraped off that they're using to repair the Colossus that you so desperately wanted. As for anything of value, you do find the odd copper coin or bits and pieces scrabbled around from what appeared to be left over from the white giant's lair where you had seen the encased remained Colossus in Campton before. But with a 10, you don't particularly find anything of use on the ground. You do notice that the male stone giant, Ark, the one that had threatened you in, in common, seems to be wielding quite a large hammer, and though there is no fire on the anvil on which he works and repairs the arm, it does seem to light up with a bright orange flame every time it strikes. Which, to your quite trained and, let's be honest, greedy eyes, does look like something that would be of value, but is firmly being used in his hand. Okay. Um, yeah, D22, what, what, what she's on uh, the group, kind of perhaps a bit remorseful, um, until he sees the the other titan seemingly, I guess, have slotted into the group without a second thought. It's a small dot that is now disappearing on the horizon. 
and as he does, he um, takes off the V-neck that he was wearing and throws it on the floor. It um, falls, and within a couple of minutes is covered by the snow. And, um, yeah, he sits. He sits just watching them as they walk on. Blank. Okay. How long do you wait? I think he waits a couple of... Uh, I think... Not long. He, wait, he, wait, he, wait, he waits a while to try and process it, but he can't really, pro he can't really process what's going on. It feels like... Um, it feels like betrayal. Um, but he's curious, he's curious as to what's inside, whether the party are there or not. So he's going to try and find a... Um, if he can try and find an angle where he's, not, where he's not seen by the rest of the group, but he can still be amongst the... So you want to follow the party? Or is there a way of getting in there? I mean, obviously, from what I see, there's just you're miles away from specific. this at the moment. This is this is not live, so ignore ignore the map. So okay, you're on the top of a mountain at this point, watching the party walk away. Yeah, yeah I'm going to I'm going I'm, I'm going to continue to follow from a distance. Okay. Yeah. So you you follow and keeping the distance, um, just make a general stealth check for me, please. That's ten. Plus anything? No. Straight roll. Yeah. Oh, sorry, was that a straight roll? No, no, no I was asking, was, was, that, was that plus six? Okay, not a problem, not a problem. Yeah. Even with the ten at the distance, you don't believe anything's seen you. You do realise the party's on the main road, and as far as you can tell, most creatures don't seem to want to mess with a large walking robot on the road. You do notice the party stops for a second, examines a small clump of rocks, and then carries on, and before long the setting sun hits, and the party begins to make camp. You watch on the ridge, about 200 feet away, not really able to make out much. The large titan just sitting there motionless, the party getting some much needed sleep. To the east you notice a, a pack of wolves slowly approaching the party. Um, the, other, the rest of the group doesn't seem to have noticed this yet, Milo is on watch, seemingly contemplating something. Still hasn't noticed you. Concerned and seeing the pack go, you take out your crossbow and you aim and you shoot a firebolt right in the middle. The pack scurries and scatters and runs away. Uh, Milo looks in your direction. Do you attempt to hide? Yeah. Make a stealth check with disadvantage. Nine total. Even with your stealthy and healthy approach, you do get the sense that you've been at least spotted. What else would you like to do? Um, I'm going to uh, run, run, run away, run forward. Cool. Uh, yeah. You take off ahead, heading towards the direction <clears throat> you believe Frostrum is in. You run and run and run. And luckily, being a Warforged such as yourself, uh, exhaustion doesn't come to you. You can continue sprinting and running and processing. And what is going through your mind at this time as you run away from the party? I think... Um... It's kind of it's 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 frying his brain a little bit because he uh, he questions whether what he's seen is real because his it was his his only goal really was to be that warforged and be with that group and he feels an immediate sense of that he's been replaced by something bigger and stronger more important than he is so I guess it's what he doesn't realise yet is jealousy. Okay. Um, and anger. Um, and he wants to resort back to perhaps older ways of having the upper hand. And if he can beat them to where they're going, then perhaps he can try and find out more. But okay. at the moment, he's just... Uh, yeah, he feels betrayed. Okay. So, are you attempting to get to Frostrum before the party? Yeah. So you're trying to race ahead. Okay, yeah. not a problem. Um, can you please make a survival check for me, please? To see if you know the way. Twelve. <clears throat> okay. With the twelve, it's not clear. You decided to avoid the road lest you run into 
uh, either the party or Sarek's men or minions or whatever I might be out here. So it does take you a long time to find it. But the mountain under which Frostrum sits is easy to spot and you remember the map you looked at earlier. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's the emotion. Maybe it's the jealousy, the anger, the resentment, the just not wanting to be replaced so quickly by this bigger, better model. You keep running and you run and you run and eventually you do arrive maybe half a mile from Frostrum. It's about four in the morning. It's still very dark out. Do you want to keep going or do you wish to stop? I think he keeps going. I don't want to rip off the um, the famous movie Forrest Gump, but I feel like these are these are relatively traumatic times, and all he can resort to really uh, is uh, his hard wiring, and I think that tells him to. There's no point really in resting until he get until he gets okay. to where he's going. Not a problem. You keep running and you keep running, and you get to a couple hundred feet away, and you now arrive at the mouth of the mountain the mine sitting, just cresting over a hill where the trees part and you see a lot of the logs cut away, the, the mud and the snow and the dirt is all twisted up from what looks like countless carts coming back and forth, horse hooves, bull hooves, bison, anything to move. It looks like things have been done here quite a worry, like a large industrial site just absolutely abandoned. What you do see standing out the front is a large frost giant and two dwarves in quite dirty blue breastplate watching out front. You're still in the tree line, or just to the side, because you did not take the road. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Frost Giant, just for reference. <laughs> He's a big boy. Mm. At this point, I'm ahead of the party. How far am I away from this action, action point here? Uh, you would need to go inside the mine to know. But you can surmise that you'd be reasonably close. It doesn't look like... Actually, we'll make an intelligence check for me, actually. Just general intelligence. Ooh, so I've rolled a, a 16 plus 7. So with a so 23, 23, looking back and looking at the mine and looking at the layout and looking at the size of the mountain and the tracks, you can surmise that this mine doesn't look very large. And if the party was to be inside, then they wouldn't be very far in. Are there any carts near? Are there any carts going into the mine? Is there, you it's completely dead. It's literally just those three out the front at this point. But you have not stopped running, and it is still dark out. So you can logically assume you're well ahead of the party at this point. That you do not believe them to be here. Are there any? <clears throat> you said there are mine. There are mine tracks going in from where I am now. Uh, uh, track? Um, carriage tracks, wagon tracks. So it's all just turned up dirt. And are there any wagons or any of those kind of? Mine there's one. There's one wagon sort of left to the side out front. Yes, there's okay. a wooden wagon. Looks a little bit rotted, but. There is a wagon out front, which is currently empty. Can I try and get in there? Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll just use this. We'll just use this crate as a placeholder. Cool. Lovely. It's just sitting to the side, out of the way. What would you like? Would you like to hide in there, or? Yeah, ideally. I mean, my my grand my goal would ideally be to try and sneak into the mine inside the inside the wagon if there are tracks that will take me. There. Sorry, sorry. There's no, there's no mine track. So any, any traffic in and out of the mine is either with like a wagon you to hitch a horse to, right. or, or travel on foot. So gotcha. you, you would have nothing to pull this with. Okay. In which case, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to get inside the wagon if possible. Sure. There's a couple of empty burlap sacks and a bit of hay, and it smells like absolute piss. But yep, you Can't hide smell in it. it. So it's fine. It's actually fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stay. Yeah. I'm gonna. Um, Cool. Make a stealth check, please. Just to make sure you're not spotted. Ooh, lovely. 17, 20 for 23. You you feel with a dirty 23. It's almost as good as a dirty 22. You manage to sneak and creak, and you are now flat, prone, lying in the carriage. What would you like to do? Would you like to wait, or would you like to carry on further inside? I'd like to try and get in. Is there is there a way... Um, how big is this carriage? Ah, it's about... It's a similar sort of size as like, you know, a, a typical four by four truck. You know, probably about sort of three meters. Can I can I lift it? You can make a strength check and find out. Absolutely. I'd like to ideally like the uh, like that fantastic artwork that was made. I'd like to ideally um be able to put my feet in the bottom of it and be able to. <laughs> 
Oh. Looney Tunes style. Oh shit, so I rolled a seven. I don't think I'm particularly strong. You, you, you bend down no, and you... straight roll. But you feel like it's drenched in the mud and slightly lopsided and you can't you can't find purchase enough. In fact, instead of lifting it, you actually sink down into the mud a little bit and so I have to pull yourself out again. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to budge. Okay, in which case I will... Um... I'm gonna hide in the. Uh, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna stay in there. I've exhausted myself a little bit, and my brain is working harder than my body right now. Little bits of smoke are kind of drifting at my ears. You're overheating um, just a little bit. Yeah, okay. circuits aren't working quite as well. One of my eye isn't quite working as much. Okay. There's like a lot of uh, digital anxiety in his head and his body right now. It's a great digital anxiety. It's great. It's an album name right there. <laughs> yeah. it's good. Good. Foo Fighters. Um, so yeah, he's just gonna he's just gonna ideally stay in there for a while, sit and see if the group passes. Uh, sure. Would you like to take a long rest, or do you want to stay there the entire time? If I may, yeah. Okay, so it's gonna, gonna be eight hours straight, and you're not gonna be able to. <clears throat> yeah. So if they come in the I next think, eight hours, then... I think he has no choice but to take. I think he involuntarily even just take just just takes okay. the eight hours. Sure yeah. thing. Just make a d20 roll. Not done anything. Just a general general roll for me, please. Eighteen. And with an 18. Cool, just note that later. With an 18, you go into standby mode, replaying the conversation you had with the rest of the party, not just yesterday, but over the last couple of days, thinking about what was and what might be ahead of you as you slowly and stressfully drift off. And with that, I'm going to invite the rest of the group back in, please. Thank you. <laughs> one, one moment, folks. We'll just fast forward through this. This, this <laughs> bit. <laughs> what was that of interest? Uh, what did I roll? A fifteen. You know, it's not bad. Yeah, this is the second dice I ever got. Um, this was the first one. This has been always been my luckiest die. Saving it tonight, so we can get some lovely, some lovely big hits. Some crits. I know what a crit is now. What's a crit? A crit is a 1 or a 20. <laughs> come on in, come on down. Cool. That's right, right? Yep. Yes. Of course it is. Hello. Oh, are you dead yet? No. No? Are you still alive? Yet? Very much alive. <laughs> Very much were a you, character now. Were you watching? No, we're in the No, no we no, weren't. No, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. No idea where or what you we are. don't know what you've been doing. Except for exploding wolves. We don't oh, know what you've been doing. I do know about that. I know what I'm expecting. Oh, so you haven't seen that? No. Are our no. characters still alive? No. Uh, everyone I was wanking your the box. Oh, no. D twenty two's popped in just to murder Zask and head straight back out again. And it's gone for his adolescent stage. <laughs> <coughs> no, you don't understand me, Mom. <laughs> right. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for bearing with us. Uh, we just need to give D twenty two a chance to catch up. So uh. we have fast forwarded back to present day. The party, minus D22, has made their way inside of Frostrum, snuck in and are now confronted by a jubilant Sarek Cave Fury. Uh, before we go any further, I would like you all to please place yourselves before we begin. Uh, you will not be any further than this light. Cool. And uh, Mini will be back here to begin. Because that's, we were at the back when we came in last time. Was uh, I on Mini? That is up to you. I would like to be. <laughs> I wasn't. And I shall be. Mm. Let's oh, assume oh, how quick you were to ride another Warforged. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> furthest what forward Alexi can be. Sure. I love you guys. Uh, Fabian's kind of going to be skulking Personal behind right. Alexi. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, yeah, let's put Myla like here. So, like, behind. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, you got yeah. It. Maybe like. Slightly further forward, like sort of alongside Fabian a little bit, but yeah, yeah, yeah that looks good. The spectre, when summoned, oh, no. materializes itself here. No, 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 go away! Go away! <laughs> Not over here! No, no. It looks past all of you and directly at Sarek Cave Fury. Sarek standing there, <coughs> sweat and blood dripping down his face. Not bleeding, not bloody, just like absolute toil and hard work. The light from the forge has now gone out, and he holds this long shard in his arm. He takes it out, 
and he jams it inside the stump that where his arm used to be that was blown off. And you watch as this long, dark, black oh, spectral God. arm swirls its way up. Oh, no! <laughs> what? Well, Zen. Playtime is over, I suppose. Unless you have any last words, I have a job to finish. Shillelagh. <laughs> I mean, everyone, please roll initiative, not you. In the last words? Shillelagh. Shillelagh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Why get does that, this... Get that out of my desk. Why does this dice always roll so bad? Oh, no. Yes, queen. We'll take that. We'll take that. <laughs> Just sending a photo to the group chat. Oh, <laughs> fuck. This is an absolute oh, banger of a cinematic track. <laughs> it's the green <laughs> one with the Triforce. It's a natural 20. But Jesus. I cursed them all. I cursed them all before we started. Yeah, but Tanya touched them, and Tanya blesses all the dice we've discovered. Apparently not mine that I just rolled. Oh, I'm so sorry yours has worn off. <laughs> yeah. Right. And she she blessed this too. Yeah. They rolled like shit. I did a one, I did a one before she blessed it though. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Initiatives 25 to 20. 20 to 15. 16. 15 to 10. Oh, oh my nice. god, people! 10 to 5. Eight. Nine. Six. Okay, hang on. So. <coughs> was it nine? Yeah. Eight? Eight. <coughs> uh, what was your story? Was? Six. Six. Okay. You better come in here and save us. He's dead. D22's fucked. gone. No, D22's going to save us. <laughs> save us all. Oh, I'm sorry. Deus roll. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, did Sarek roll a natural 20? Yes. Because yeah. it's Matt rolling it. I just don't have that many hit points. <laughs> that was amazing, just you being like, I just don't have that many hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I just... Right. That's my favourite dice. Why do you always roll bad? Oh. On initiative 20. Oh, yeah. As a lair action. No. Oh, oh. fucking blow. The spectre Jeez. glides 20 feet. Yes, that way. Good, yes. Ah. Uh, and it's going to occupy just next to you. Fabian, you feel a chill suddenly as you see this black ghost. Like, and like make its way directly towards Sarek. Oh. You suddenly feel cold and sweat drips down your back and all of a sudden you feel like you're watching yourself from a distance and then <laughs> you're brought back down again in a second. <gasps> Nothing else happens. The next roll is Sarek. Oh, is. Sarek looks at each of you and considers for a moment. Oh, I don't even usually get to go first. This is great. <sighs> I should have got rid of that spell. Well then, well, let's see how you handle this. Uh, that is going to be a problem, and he's going to reach out, and he's going to aim at you. No, not my ruby! Oh, and he's going to, he reaches out his black arm and tightens his grip, and swirly purple circles appear around, spinning, spinning, then slow down. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. That's not one good. One for you and one for Minnie, thank you. That's not good. That's not good, okay. Oh, minus a 16. Well. Oh, freaking balls. I held on a 16. Oh, mini is not wise. Four. Cool. You both suddenly hear, like, Zark's <laughs> get very slow and deeper all of a sudden, and suddenly the whirring gears of the Warforged Titan suddenly slow down as well. You're both slowed. Okay, so, worse. just just for reference, um, oh, cool. Uh, your speed is halved. Your AC has a penalty of minus two to that and dexterity saves. You cannot use reactions. Um, you can either do an action or a bonus action. And if you attempt to cast a spell, you have to roll a d20. If it's lower than 11, uh, sorry, if it's 10 or lower, yeah, lower than 11, 10 or lower, then uh, it does not go off until the next turn. Cool. Understood? Yeah. Great stuff. Cool. The other thing Sarek suddenly does, he turns his feet and locks them in place and <laughs> shards of Arlinthian appear from the ground up his armor around his boots. And he suddenly skips around and down and into a corner. That's the end of his turn. Next on the initiative list. 
with me. Oh, boy. How far away is he from me? Uh, at this point, you'd be looking one, two, three, four, and uh, you'd be looking about 50 feet, but you do not have direct line of sight at this exact moment. Okay. Um, did I manage to get my shillelagh out? You did, yes. Because yes. it's a bonus action, Lovely. I will allow that. Wonderful. Okay, that's just good. It's just good to have that. Um, okay, I'm going to um, step slightly forward so that I have direct line of sight. I don't need to get closer to him, I just want line of sight. Cool. Um, you can do that. You probably need to move... Probably back here. On I can I can get closer if that's preferable. Yeah, oh, it's easier. You'll get a better shot if you're about this. You're about forty five feet. Away. Sure, that's do, cool. Do, 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 do. Yep, um, and then I'm going to cast um, fairy fire on him. Cool. Uh, what do yes. I need to do? Yes. Um, so that is a deck save sixteen. Deck sixteen. Yep. And you're gonna have. Uh, as he disappears, you just manage to uh, shoot one off, and suddenly glowing light appears all around him as he fails the dexterity save. Yes. Yes. Any lights up? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Cool. So we all have advantage on yes. attacks against him now. Yeah. And he can't go invisible. He cannot go invisible. Nope. Cool. Good to know. I can see him. <laughs> it'd be like he's invisible. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It'd be like he goes invisible, but he's, he's just this big glowing yeah. invisible thing. Like. We can <laughs> still see you. Yeah. Right. Lovely. Um, uh, cool. Anything else you would like to do? That is, I think... It for now. That's yeah. That's, that's it. it. That's now. what we'll do. Great. Yeah. Not a problem. Cool. Uh, he's gonna take a legendary action at this point. Um, let's. I feel very tense. Let's do that. Rose. Ah. Roll me a d6, please. One. Okay. That's Through the sound of his bad, frustration. Good or bad, good or bad. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and you feel this pulse of purple energy wave out, and some of the dead bodies suddenly start to oh, stand no. up as three ex dwarven guards appear. One here. One here. One here. Looking around, they don't appear to be what you'd consider to be your classic, typical zombie. Uh, each one stands ready and at attention, but all of their eyes are completely grey, blank. No pupils set, and if you could call it staring, look at each and every single one of you. Um, cool, I just need to roll some initiatives. Cool. 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 Right. Uh, this first one is going to run at you, Fabian. And is going to attempt to take a swing, uh, raising its battle axe against you. Uh, does a 17 hit. Ha, misses. Okay, it comes in, but you're ready for it. You Just... My reaction is I feel it flying through the air behind me, and I pivot. Swings again, missing, air going each time, still sort of like reincorporating itself as it like tries to attack you at the same time. Uh, cool, misses both, and that's that. Uh, Zask, you're up. Um, I... You are slowed. Everything seems to be moving like swimming around. I'm like, cha! <laughs> 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 Slowly pressing the button on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Minnie get to that one within 20 feet? Uh, with its with the 20 feet, yeah, yes, it can. <coughs> okay. It can just make it. Yeah. I'd like to stomp Minnie forward. Minnie <coughs> pushes. And um, oh. Minnie like uh, usually has multi attack, so I assume would only have one. Uh, Action. We're going to say one, yes. Yeah, yeah, for the sake of I'll sense. double check that um, in a second. Please don't yell at me at the comments. I don't know. Yeah, you can make um, yeah, either an axe or a hammer attack. But this ah. will be it for your entire turn. Yeah, the same. yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. it, that's fine. Um, so, uh, oh, I like hammer fist. Mini! Hammer fist. Um, yeah, I'm going to roll for mini, yeah? Um, it's a plus nine. Seventeen. 17 total. Yeah. Yeah, cool, not a problem. You raise the hammer and suddenly everything clicks into place and the hammer comes down. I'll roll damage for me, please. Okay. 
Oh, this music is like... So yeah, good. I feel like so, so, so much tension in my chest right now. The track is called Tense Negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> Forget the negotiations. I the mean, negotiations there's, were there's short. There's about to be some negotiating, <laughs> only it's going to involve a falchion. <laughs> 19 bludgeoning damage. And 19 bludgeoning damage. Is this point. spirit a creature? <laughs> Into his is face. This, 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 a this is a creature. This is a corporeal, so, physical creature. Oh, yes. Can it make a strength save? Uh, it doesn't matter, because as you bring the hammer oh. down, you immediately crush it and... It immediately dies. Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I mean, uh, Faye, make a dexterity save. Party. As the hammer comes down but, right next to you. But, go on, go on, go on. You're, I'm sure you're Trust. Dexy. You're very Dexy. Uh, yeah, like 26. Cool. You managed to dodge just out of the way, avoiding the hammer and the shockwave that sort of comes through on the back of that. Cool. I am invincible. <laughs> You'll finish that sentence by the time we get to the next turn. Uh, Alexi, you're up. Uh, okay, Alexi uh, draws the falchion. Uh, as he does, he is going to imbue it with radiant energy. Uh, so I am going to take two points of radiant damage. And basically, he just kind of like sets himself into a sprint, glances over at Marlon, and goes, for Mayway. And he is sprints, action dash, straight at Sarek. If possible, not running past anyone's space. If it's doable. Yep, doable. Full action dash. You can do that and avoid the space. Uh, yeah, because I don't think 70 feet... Sorry, I don't think 35 feet can get me to Sarek, can it? One, two, three, four, six. It can, but you'll take an attack of opportunity. Then I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> you immediately... <laughs> Yeah, go. Uh, yep, this boy's going to take a swing at Fine. you. Fine. Fine. Fucking monsters here. Uh, that is going to be. Oh, that's what I want to hear. Twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one hits. Cool. <laughs> it's over. You just went past this one it's now. Much more aware, of being the first one to come back up. Uh, you take a whopping five points of uh, slashing damage. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. Uh, but yep, that's that's your movement. Fantastic. I'm in melee range, right? Yes. Oh no. Great. Sprints up. Falchion, his eyes red, fangs out. Oh boy. You and have he's going to. my fucking friend! Um, first attack. Go for it. Actually terrible. Um, uh, sorry, maths. Um, 14? 14. Did you put advantage misses. on that? Yeah. 14 with advantage. Um, yep, first one misses. All right. Oh, cast stuff. You don't have any friends, only cattle. <laughs> I've been inside your mind. Fuck this guy. Uh, all right, now that is better. <laughs> that is a 22. Yes! <laughs> okay. The second one, as he taunts you, suddenly you bring it and. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Roll damage. Okay. Um, That's what we want to hear. I know. That I is one d ten. One d eight. And one d six. Do you want the damage separate at all? Uh, so we've got we've yeah, got please. slashing, yeah. we've yeah. got fire, yeah, yeah, we've yeah. got separate, radiant. Separate, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Keep the. Keep the radiant separate if that's okay, thank you. Keep the radiant yeah, separate. Yeah, everything else is fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, right, so that is 10, 15 points of slashing and fire damage. Okay. <coughs> and that is going to be. You ready for radiant? Yeah, go for it. Six points of radiant damage. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Cool. Great. Anything I should like to do? No. Um, as Alexis slashes into him, like the fire from the sword starts to burn up parts of his cloak. Oh. Thank you. Cool. Fabian, you're up. Me? Okay. Um, uh, Fabian is like full on panicking. <laughs> he just steadies himself for a moment, does a big gulp, and uh, is gonna run towards this spectral dude cool. do I go through him this, stone, this yeah. one yeah yeah you go straight through cool figured as much uh, in which case I will continue my movement because I have uh, 40 feet cool and go up to your boy here the yellow one 
This one or this one? Other no. one. Sorry, <laughs> my thing, my pointer ran out of battery. Oh no, oh, it's, do you it's not on. It's on. No, no, I left it on for ages. Oh, oh right, right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Excellent. Sorry. Okay, cool. Uh, you go through. You feel that chill again, brought up and back down, and you arrive again. <coughs> And I'm, uh, yeah, he like skips forward, jumps in the air, and comes down with his hands like this on this uh, dead individual here. Make an attack roll for me. With a, oh no, not with advantage on that one. Just that dude. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that will hit. Uh, I rolled an 18. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. And um, one smack. Ooh, oh. ah, uh, 12 points of damage. You come in, smack. <laughs> Hit pushes back up though, still standing. And I'm pretty sure that I have two attacks because I'm a monk. Level five, yes, you have, yes, you have, you have cool. extra attack. And then uh, land. Fabian's a monk, two, everybody. Two hands, <laughs> two hands across the jaw, and then just backhand with the back of the. Cool, fist. make an attack roll. Ooh, blip, 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 blip. Uh, twenty. Dirty, oh, dirty. Dirty twenty hits. Yeah. yeah. Smack. Um, dum, 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 nine. Nine? Nine. Cool. Nine. Yeah, you come through, crack, hold, you bring it back, and you smack again. Poof. He falls down, collapses. On the nice. Ground. Dead. Nice. Uh, Fabian, you also <sighs> notice getting in here, you look just beyond Alexi and Sarek, a weird sort of ritualistic no. portal set up <laughs> in the corner. No. Fabulous. Is it doing anything? Uh, you would need to get closer to find out. How much of my movement did it take? Uh, me all of your movement. Okay. Yeah. In which case, I'm going to hang for the moment. Good as gold. Yep. Cool. Uh, great. The other dwarf. <laughs> what? The other what? Yeah, oh, that's okay, three. Cool. One, yeah. Not, not another one that's going to come out and somewhere. Take a smack at you. Yeah. yeah. Natural 20. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Matt, stop. Uh, and an 18. 18 points of damage? No, no, no. Oh, right. Uh, Natural right. 20 uh, and an 18. Okay, I mean, both of those hit. That's yeah. fine. Low rolls, Matthew. Low <laughs> rolls. Tell me how to live my life. Listen, Matthew. <laughs> Low rolls. Um, you take a whopping. Uh, you did. That's 8 plus. That doesn't sound that low. Uh, you take a whopping 14 points of slashing damage. For a natural 20 on two attacks, I think that's pretty yeah. decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Comes in, the axe ugh, catches you in the side. Cool. Um, right. We're back to the top of the initiative. On initiative round 20, the spectre continues towards Sarah, this time going directly through you. You feel that chill, and you don't feel cold very often, and even now you realize, oh. <coughs> two, three, Am I still asleep? We'll get to you, don't worry. <laughs> Are you fucking what having a nap? What <laughs> Are you in like So the hot D22 coals? is just in a corner like book there, like yeah. hat over his face. Yeah. No, the nice little hot coals that Sarah had made up, Dee's like kind of nestled in on them is just like, oh, it's comfy in here. <laughs> Sarah's turn. Find out. Oh, you feel strong. Let's put that to good use. Oh no. And he reaches up with his black hand and he puts it on your face. Yeah. I need you to please make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, I'm good at those. <laughs> Counterspell. Um, <laughs> I do yes. not have Counterspell. Oh. 16. Failure. Oh. The DC was 17. Oh. As he casts Dominate Person. Oh, that's a kick in the balls. How do, how do we get Alexi, you're yep. charmed. Okay. While you are charmed, you have a telepathic link between you and Sarah. That sounds lovely. Um, but either I can take full control, or there are simple things, um, simple instructions that Sarah can give you. Sarah looks at you as your eyes turn from red to a dull, lifeless pink. You see the elf girl. Take her out. You feel compelled to attack Myla. On your turn, please. Oh. Unless I say otherwise. Okay. Well, it's your turn. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, sorry. I still need to hear my movement. Um, apologies. Do we know uh, that happened? Do we know that happened? Uh, you can quiet. make a perception check if you'd like to notice that happening. The rest of you cannot see this. Uh, um, 15. With a 15, you, you definitely notice that a spell has taken place. You see the face being touched. You see a notable shift in Alexi's demeanor. Sarek then, with the crystals, begins to ride up the side of the wall and goes up 25 feet in the air. He's perched like that, same as a spider climb. 
he is currently... Does it look like he's just walked up the wall? He, yep, like so the crystals legs, literally like move him up. So and he's cool. sitting up top, oh, looking across. Oh my God. Milo, you're up. He's 25 feet up. 25 feet in the air. The spectre it's watching, like not matters. taking their eyes off him. Oh, sorry, Zask, you can make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, thanks. That's what I want. That's what I want. Uh, right. Uh, I think I can do both of these at once and move. Yes, I can. Okay, first things first, I'm going to hit this thing next to me with Shalele. Go for it. Um, so, yeah, it's just, a, it's just an attack roll. Um, that, oh, okay, that's a natural one, so yeah, that's that, not that, happening. That's, that just misses. Whatevs. Um... <laughs> We move. Um, so I'm going to walk up to that. below, like exactly below where Sarah K. Fury is on the wall. So you're getting... See? Okay. Oh, look, he's died. What a shame. Right. Cool. <laughs> so you're getting right up alongside Alexi? Oh, yeah. <gasps> cool. Good as gold. Yep, you see Sarah's... Oh, making it easy. Thank you. And then I'm going to cast Thorn Whip. Go for it. See. Make an attack roll. See. <laughs> or is it a save for me? It's an attack roll. Um, oh, yeah, it's just an attack roll. Cool. At advantage. Add advantage, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's much better. 20, dirty. Sarek looking at you, oh no, 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 no. And he concentrates and he's coming out of shield as a reaction. Little shit. It misses. The, the vines come out and begin, but suddenly there's a pulse of energy and they're just sort of slapping helplessly at the side of this gross purple arcane energy swirling outside. You need to do better than that. Free action, give him the finger. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> What did you roll for your wisdom saving throw? I rolled a 19, Minnie only rolled a 7. Cool. You are no longer slowed. <laughs> Minnie still is. <laughs> cool. Uh, great. <coughs> uh, Sarek is going to use a legendary action. Ah. Oh, this is going to be problematic. D22. Hey! What? You are stirred from your slumber and peek out of your wagon to notice the... At first you notice the two dwarves and the giant are gone. And then slowly as you're stirring and your standby static is wearing off, you see a large frost giant and the two dwarves reanimate in front of you. Oh, so he's not going to make it for this fight. <laughs> Good luck. Turn. And immediately sprint inside the cave. Oh shit! D twenty two roll initiative. Sir. <coughs> Sir. Okay, now I get why you were saying we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yeah, okay. Oh no. It's okay. You I mean, it's all right. Six. 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 Also. What? Three plus three. Three plus three. Yeah. Uh, oh, baby, what's your dex? Uh, four. Cool. Oh, so you... sorry, dex. Uh, yeah, four. Sorry. Cool. So you, you go after Rose. Cool. Okay. Cool. Oh, gosh. God, that's a very low roll. Haha! Uh -huh. Wait, for who? Oh, so for you'll, this. You'll, you'll find out. God. How's that cursed sword treating you now? It's a in there, isn't it? <laughs> yeah! Party name! <laughs> cool. Um, right. All of you hear suddenly heavy footsteps coming from outside. Your downstairs neighbours must love you. Yeah, they make noise all the time, it's fine. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, that's his legendary action over. While it's done, uh, this dwarf is going to run in and attack you, Zask. Hey! Boom. How dare. Ow, Natural one. Yay! Yay. Ah. Uh, well, the right speed again. It's well go done, everyone. Two attacks, it's going to go again. Ah. Uh, it's going to be a, an 18 to hit. Oh, I assume that hits. You take uh, nine points of slashing damage. That's a, a lot. That's a large proportion. A big chunk. A total. Cool. Uh, cool. We'll come back to those in a second. Ow! Let's ask you up. Help! Ow! Mini! Get him! <laughs> um... Can Minnie slowly get him? <laughs> Minnie would like to get him. Yeah, sure. Make make a single attack roll for Minnie, please. Help 
Mini, help me. Oh gosh. Um, maths, math 17. 17 hits. Um, more maths, more maths. Yes, Mini, this is this is axe hand this time. It's the whole other hand. It's even better than hammer hand. Exactly the same stats, but. How many dice are you roll? <laughs> 3d8 plus 6. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah that's um, pretty nice. Big boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I was like, that was living yeah, dangerously. Um, it was 7 plus 6, which is 13. Do you, that's not your dice, right, is it? Yes, you're new. I thought it was, I was going to say, just same as before, the axe comes down, you immediately cleave it in front. Can I use it? Make a wisdom saving throw for Minnie, please. I was going to say, because I thought you had it. 6. 6. Still slowed. Thank you. Cool. Ooh, Lexi, your mind is is clouded and you're not really sure what's going on, but you see this blue silhouette running up towards you. Swoosh, swoosh. Haha, <laughs> swoosh. Take her out, echoes in your head. Uh, Alexi turns to look at Myla and his eyes are just completely glassy. Pink. Pink, sorry, thank you. But I mean, like, yeah. in terms of, like, Classy and pink. not even seeing you and just will go in and do his thing. I'm so sorry. Do not hold back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, just, just oh, yeah. making sure. David yeah. is sorry. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Alexi's loving it. All right, well, need, non, nothing's an actual Do you 20. have advantage? No. Two attacks. Oh, right, right, sorry. Cool. I was just going to wait Um... Fifteen hits. The other one definitely hits. Oh cool. dear! Okay. How much damage do you take from your sword? Uh, I'm gonna take two d four. Roll those for me, please. First. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Yep. Oh. 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 This is already. Oh. Hit, so. Yep. Three in total. Three total. Make two wisdom saving throws for me, please. Oh, God. Please. <laughs> It's Myla. <laughs> Ten and a five. You fail both times. Cool. Uh, cool. Roll your damage for Myla, please. That's a lot. That's, a lot. That's many dice. That's many dice. Why have you picked up so many dice? Um, because Many's. he's a powerful boy. He picked up a cursed sword. But they all rolled bad. They all Nine. rolled bad. No, they did not. Nine. Seventeen. Uh, Seventeen. Twenty-two. Twenty-six. Thirty. Thirty-eight. I'm down. As Myla goes down, I need you to let off a thunder wave at your highest level, please. Oh, gosh. Shit. Oh no. Is a thunder wave of at least a sphere? This is the first time you've ever gone down. It's not. No, it's not. She okay. went down on the first Sarek fight as well. Okay. What? Oh, fucking Sarek. Fucking Sarek. I'll save you. Uh, that's a con save <coughs> 16. Nope. What's the radius on that? 15 feet. Fabian, con save. Oh, Sarek, also a con save. Uh, Sarek fails. Oh, that's good. That's good. I failed too. Cool. Roll damage, that's please. Uh, Alexi, another wisdom saving throw, please. Shaman is exciting. I should roll more. Which is good. And all that. 13. That's reasonable. That's Can I see the D8? 13 fails. However, uh, hang on, we'll come to that. Oh, boy. Uh, thank you. I'll take one from both of you. Why do you all die right now? Oh, I mean, it's looking ten. like a... <gasps> 19, is that right? 10, 17, 19 points of damage, cool. and anyone who failed it is pushed back 10 feet. Did you fail your wisdom save again? Yeah. Shit. Cool. Sarek, <laughs> the crystal shatter, and he falls and lands directly in front of your feet. Yes. You did, are down. Did he make a um, save for his concentration or slow on That mini? is literally what I'm about to do. Okay, fire. <laughs> good, 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 good. Uh, oh, that is a good feet. point. He's doing two concentration spells. Mini is no longer slowed either. Thank you for catching that because he's about to roll a concentration, what was the other concentration? for you. Okay. Oh, yes. oh shit. I was yeah, about to roll for that. Yeah. Those Apologies time. didn't really impact things. Um, but but yeah. Fairy oh, Fire is down on him. Fairy Fire is down on him. Uh, Thank uh, you. Did, oh, did you push me back 10 feet? Uh, I did. Uh, yes, I did. 
you failed? Yeah. Ah, so you take your damage and 10 points not prone. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Concentration check. It was 19 points of damage, correct? Yeah. Come on. Natural one. one. Yes! Yeah! <sighs> Good damage. Hang on. No. Alexi, you're blasted back, and as your head knocks the side of the wall, your eyes come to to see Myla dying. Sarek prone on the ground, but also Myla with burn marks across her body. And you don't know why. I don't remember anything. You do not remember anything that just took place. Okay. But your best friend is dying. Sarek is lying on the ground near you. And Fabian, did you fail your check as well? You're also prone on the ground. You just heard a reverberating <laughs> and suddenly most of the party is lying on the ground and one of them looks very hurt. Okay. Cool. So the plan's out the window. The plan's out the window. I'm just gonna hide in here. I needed to be conscious for that plan. Yeah, it was a great plan as well. It's okay, you're coming back up. You're coming back up. Fabian. Oh, Hello. You're up. Uh, Sarek is prone on the ground, as is the rest of the team. Fantastic. I'm going to do that cool thing that people who are good at, like, athletic... Yeah, that thing. Like, <laughs> kick up and jump onto my feet. Cinematic AF. Yep. <laughs> um, I'm going to run towards... One second, where's Sarek? Okay, cool. I'm going to run. Um, can I get between Sarek and Myla? Easy. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Cool. Boing. Cool. Um, and I'm going to, like, okay, so Fabian runs forward and skids down onto one knee and touches Myla on the side of the face and spends a key point and is going to cast Healing Hands. Uh, (laughs) That's a point for Fabian. Yep. Um. (laughs) I mean, if there is a race, Alexi's just just out of it now. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> one tried to kill me, one successfully killed me, one brought me up from that. It's a difficult choice. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, da, da. Nine points of... Thank you very oh, much. that's good. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, that's four. Cool. Um, and then Not I 90. will spend another key point. Mm-hmm. And do flurry of blows on Sarek. Go for it. Fury. Prone just, next to your advantage. Yeah. yeah. Bang, bang, bang. One <laughs> foot straight down onto the head to begin with. With advantage. Ooh. The first one was way better. <laughs> I saw the three. Um, yeah, but it's uh, 19. 19 heads. 19, okay. And then, wait, where are my dice? Okay. <laughs> this, no, bad. Okay. Uh, five cool. points. Five points, of great. bludgeoning damage. And you, you start to crack through the crystals that are growing around his body. Is the yeah. armor seems like replacing made of Rylanthian. It's nothing to me. <laughs> I mean, nothing to him. And uh, <laughs> is gonna then uh, go and <laughs> <laughs> take the elbow down. Yep. Good, 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 good. People's elbow with advantage. People's <laughs> elbow. Yeah. Um, Nineteen again. Nineteen again. Cool. Absolutely hits. Uh, that's better. Uh, uh, ten points of bludgeoning damage. Ten points of bludgeoning. Cool. Great. Cool. You start wailing and drop down. Cool. Uh, D twenty. Anything else you'd like to do? Um. Was an action to hands of healing and bonus action flurry to blows. flurry of blows. So you still got a little bit of movement if you want. <coughs> um, <coughs> Can I get to the other side of Sarek to check out this here suspicious Yeah, circle? absolutely, not a problem. Um, he's gonna, no, he's not gonna do it. He's already used his reaction this turn. Cool, you 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 get to the other sides, um, and at a quick glance, because you don't have any time to sort of roll out kind of, but you notice four pillars of pure white crystal you don't really recognize, and a deep black circle surrounding that with a yawning, endless portal beneath. Like, when you say portal, to a nexus realm or a hole that you goes down You can't make it out. You know, like Vanta Black? Okay. That is what you're seeing. Great. Okay, cool. cool. Gotcha. Great. D22. You sit up and watch a giant hulking frost giant and two of those dwarf guards running inside. What would you like to do? Okay. So, um, you do not believe they've seen you. Cool. Um, so he's woken up after eight hours. You've had a long rest, circuits, yes. Uh, his circuits are starting to work, but he feels slightly heavy. 
Um, also, just make a perception check for me, please. Or an sure. intelligence check. Because you can hear noises inside, but you don't actually know if the party's in here or not. I'll take intelligence. Ooh, Ooh, 26. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. You're a smart boy. <laughs> you can hear, you can hear, you heard, you woke up to the sound of a thunder wave and you heard Myla's scream echoing out the cave. Okay. So he's going to um, almost kind of very stoic, um, focused. He sits up in the crate. His head smashes through the top of it. <laughs> he gets, uh, looks in his chest and behind his moral compass. It's gone. You lost it, remember? You lost in it the in the avalanche. avalanche. In the avalanche. I did lose it in you the did. avalanche. Which means I have one attunement to spare. You do? Ooh. So what I'm going to do, because I was going to dramatically crush it in my hands, but I can't do it. <laughs> oh, so sorry to take that away from you, buddy. Metaphorically I planned it about ten minutes ago. Oh. 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 That's me so bad. You, you, look, you look at where it should be like, I don't need that. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I haven't got it anymore. And, um, and what I will do instead, so I do have, forget me if I'm using the wrong word, but I have your, is it a flail or flat? The, your, you have the chain flail, yeah. I have the chain flail still, and I'm going to wrap it around my chest, Heat, use the fire from my crossbow so it kind of welds into my chest and use it to have enhanced defense on my chest. Ooh, I <laughs> love it! And then, yep, carry on. Yep. And as I, as I do, my eyes kind of fix straight. I'm almost back at factory settings to my head. I'm just going to charge straight into where I think uh, Sarek might be. Cool, oh so God. it's going to take your full movement to sort of catch up to that point. Do you spell blood? Two things. One, you can have the point of inspiration for that because that was fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you get advantage at any point uh, you like once. Beautiful. Um, second one, you are trailing behind the frost giant and the two dwarves who are also running to the same source of noise. Do you want to try and get ahead of them or do you want to stay behind and not make a disturbance or be noticed? You can try and get ahead, but they will see you and it will put you into the fight faster. You can try and stay behind. <laughs> it is going to take longer to get there, mm -hmm. but it means that you're safer. Three, two. I'm going to go safer. Safer. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you're not going to get there until the start of your next turn. Fine. But it means they haven't seen you. Great. Fine. The frost giant, full tilt. Oh uh, it's going to use its full movement action dash to get to the mouth of the cave. Um, none of you see it, though, because you're all a bit preoccupied. Except for you, Zask, you look between the legs of Minnie and see a... <laughs> and not far behind. Two more dwarves. Oh, dear. A little further back, because they're not as quick as a giant. I'm just going to... They're behind, don't worry. Uh, cool. Uh, full action dash, full action dash. Top of the lair action. I'm going to do that again. Sarek sits up. Bonus action. <laughs> Disappears. Oh. Uh, fucking... Seriously. Such an annoying bonus action. Uh, sorry, uh, legendary action disappears. I'll be very specific with that. Cool. Fucking... How many of those did you get? Um, three, three, three per three round. Three per round. Worth oh, three per yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, okay. That's a fucking. I don't know. Coat of disappearing. Um, Fuck. Uh, Alexi, roll a d6 for me, please. Lovely. Six. Cool. Uh, six. Uh, nothing happens. That does be a review as well. Cool. Uh, right. Sarek. It's now Sarek's turn. Yes, it is. Um, Sarek. The invisible birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Fairy fire was so useful that it was. That was great. Ugh. You, you've wait, is he still is person still, before? Is it still alive? No, because no. I went down. Oh, fuck yeah. Otherwise, it, yeah, that's why I was like, he can't go invisible while. Yeah, 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 I just got that. You went down. Because that cool. Well, this means I can't do my thing. Mm. Ha. Best let's play plans. So this is this is what we're planning on. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll look over uh, uh, yeah, 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 cool. Zask, yes. you suddenly hear a. <laughs> I don't like it. As a small dialogue oh, really two heads like appears behind you. Where the fuck did that come from? I really don't like it. Where did that uh, come and from? And that's, that's it for now. Where maybe, did it come maybe, from? Maybe it's Sarek. Oh. He's a druid. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know. I don't know that either, but it's a guess. <laughs> <laughs> And then suddenly in front of you, Fabian, what? like a spectre of not the spectre you've been chasing, but like the sort of the shade of Sarah appears and is going to make two attacks against you. Oh, man. I'm a quick boy. Quick boy. Surely like, like before you can even like recognize what's happening. Uh, first one's a miss, but it's an 18 hit. Uh, yep. 
Cool. Just first made one, that's you're amazing. sort of like the first one hits you as you're caught off guard uh, as you take low as well. I'm in half four points of necrotic damage. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, as, as sort of like the spectral staff is jammed through, and you feel that, <laughs> and then it's gone again, and it like, disappears. <sighs> cool. Myla, Hi. Uh, you suddenly come back to conscious. Your ears are ringing. Your head is pumping. Uh, you are lying prone on the ground. Alexi is also lying prone on the ground. What would you like to do? Um, I mean, I sort of like look round, um, and I can't see Sarek. So, um, is, um, okay, Alexi's lying on the ground, but he, and he's just, he's just stabbed me. That's concerning. Um, <laughs> and Fabian is standing by a weird portal. Oh no, the shade of Sarek <coughs> is above. Uh, it appeared, hit, and went. hit Fabian twice and then disappeared okay. immediately. Did I see that? Uh, yep, you saw that. Okay. If you're passive, you definitely saw that. All right. In that case, I'm going to um, use half my movement to get up. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to hold my action mm-hmm. to cast Fairy Fire if a fucking Shade or Sarek appears. Is that something you can do? Can you do that with spells? I think only if you've got Warcaster. Um, no, or that's is it you, a... Warcaster is you can oh, do it as, as, a re- reaction. as a reaction. Um, you can hold your action to cast a spell. The caveat is that it gets used. you use the um, yeah. the spell it's slot anyway. regardless of whether or not the thing cool. actually happens. Yeah, great. Thank you for that. Like It's cast. Completely um, fine. Cool. Not a problem. All right. Uh, anything else you would like to do? Nope. I am... Waiting. Cool. Goes gold. Uh, right. Out of hand running. Uh, right. The other two dwarves now at the feet and running up directly behind. And then he's asked, you're up. Um, am I right in remembering that I can use my action to make Mini take an action? Yes. Um, but he, the Mini can still move. It's either things. you either remote control Mini or you yeah. do a thing on your own. Yeah, but Mini, yeah. but not Mooney's movement, just Mini's Mini, action. Yeah, yeah, so Mini's Mooney actions. Yeah, anyway. either Mini attacks or you attack. Basically, is that constant? Am I concentrating? No, nope. no, nope. nope. you've got a little remote control that does all that. Okay, for am I am I sixty feet from Myla? From Myla? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yep. It's not a huge space. Can I bonus action Shield of Faith on Myla? Absolutely. Is that a touch spell or a distance? Oh, 60 feet. Yep. 60 feet. Yep, not a problem. Plus two bonus to AC, as long as I can maintain concentration for the next 10 minutes. Thank you. Um, that's my bonus action. My movement is just to cling tighter onto Mini, and my action is to get is to get Mini to multi-attack, if that's all right. Cool. What well, are you multi-attacking? The wolf or the giant? Multi-attack! The wolf, because the wolf's like really close to me <laughs> on the board, and I feel really... That makes a lot of sense. Close to that yep. wolf, and I don't like it. Sure, not a problem. Um, I feel like I don't like the wolf. So, um, uh, axe hand! Um, Make an attack roll. So what is this sweeping hand? Okay, uh, that is a f- 15. 15 hits. A hit uh, on the wolf, and that is... Oh, great. Oh, my God. 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Cool. Still standing. Uh, oh, sorry, that's hammer fist. Sorry. Um, axe fist is the same. Slashing damage, then I'm prone. And then, yeah, and then I'm going to hammer fist, hammer fist them as well. Great. Ooh, um, oh, 17. 17? 17 hits, yep. Um, with the other weapon, and that is... 20 points of damage. 20 points of damage. Cool. You come down. Boom, one. Boom, and with the axe once again, you cleave it. Falls out on the ground. Good. Good, Mini. Good, Mini. Cool. You've still got your movement if you'd like it. Oh, I, th- oh, I think um, I'm just going to have Mini just sort of turn around and just turn around. face the scary oh. monsters and just be like, oh, oh dear. Me. Oh, Sask, so brave. Okay. Don't look at me like that. I'll look at you however I want. Ah! Alexi, your ears are ringing. Yep. Milo has been hurt. Yep. He's got him back up. Yep. And you've seen that, but yep. your head is currently swimming. All right. Um, 
the last like 10 seconds have been a bit of a blur. Uh, Alexi is going to stand up. Uh, I can see that Myla is preparing a spell, right? Yes. Okay. <coughs> Given what Alexi knows of how Sarek fights, Alexi is going to stand next to Myla and hold his action to attack anything that appears in his melee range. Okay. That you... isn't Myla. We'll see about that. Can you please be specific about where you want to stand? Um, well, I imagine my movement is. You can get pretty much anywhere. next to her. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'll get rid of that timer because we don't need that right now. Cool. I'm not gonna lie. Myla goes like, and then when you don't do anything, she's like, okay. <laughs> yep. He, he's just seen you injured. No idea what's going on. It's like, man, this guy's weird. Like. <laughs> okay. Uh, suddenly, Sarek using a legendary action, appears on the opposite side. Fairy the fire immediately we'll, goes off. We'll get there. Don't worry. I, I haven't forgotten. Cool. The specter also appears in front of you. Oh, um, no. Cool. Fairy fire. Yep. Go for it. What's the save? Uh, dex save. Yeah, dex save 16. Uh, fails. Yes! Let's up again. Get. Fuck. Wrecked. Fuck <sighs> it, uh, <laughs> Cool. Great. Uh, there's legendary action, Alexi. Fabian, you're up. Um, 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 so Sarek has appeared. Sarek has appeared directly in front of you and is scowling. Get away from that. You do not know what you're doing. Ooh, interesting. Um, cool. Uh, Fabian looks, uh, looks at Sarek and gulps and just turns. He's going to smack down on the crystal. Okay, make an attack roll, please. Yes, Fabian. Excellent, and that will hit. I rolled an 18. Uh, 18 absolutely hits. Uh, can that be with my bow staff, please? Yeah, sure. Cool, which is a d12. Nice. Please specify next time before you make a hit, thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, 10 plus 14 the points thing? of damage. Cool, you bring it down. the nearest crystal. You bring it down with all your and <laughs> it cracks. It's still holding together, but. <laughs> cool. Still there. Looking at Sarek for a reaction, just right back. Back down. Cool, make another attack roll. Um, monks, yes. monks, 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 Ooh. monks. Uh, b- b- d- b- d- 13. 13 misses. Comes Crystal? in and there's like, a bit of energy and your stuff sort of like slips off it a little bit. Nothing happens. Um, b- d- 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 bonus, a- bonus action, spend a key point, patient defense. Okay. Uh, you sort of sit and you focus yourself. So Slide yeah, the, the staff comes out backwards and the hand goes cool. forward. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Okay. Get through there. these quick. <laughs> uh, using the rest of your movement, coming up behind, you arrive at the mouth of the cave. And now looking through, you see a lot. You appear just behind, peering through the legs of the giant. The first thing you notice is Zask riding the Warforged you've been watching from a distance for the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. You see this, not zombified, but clearly still reconstructing giant holding an axe staring down at the robot and the two dwarves on either side flanking, facing down. Looking beyond, you can see some kerfuffle in the distance, but you don't really know what that is at this point. You just hear a lot of noise and a lot of shouting. Um, What happens next? My disguised self allows me to go one foot shorter or one foot taller. (laughs) Um, and he says the extent of the illusion is up to you, but a basic arrangement of limbs. Now, if I'm relatively dexterous as a, as a, a robot, if I war forge effectively, if I go on all fours, how much like a wolf can I look like? It's <laughs> very cute. I didn't know where that yeah. sentence was going. I was going. intrigued. Yeah, yeah you know what? You never quite know where going. <laughs> Tell you what, you roll a high enough arcana check mm-hmm. or a high enough nature check. I'll allow it, I but it's it. a, it's a high, it's creative, so I like it, but it's gonna yeah. be a high DC to pull off. Okay. You need an 18. Oh, That's a good thing I rolled a. Oh my god! I <laughs> 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 <It's laughs> rolled an 18 well. on the dice. <laughs> it went like, dude, and then we're like, <laughs> Zask, you look and you swore for a moment you saw D22, but instead you see. 
a weird looking wolf. <laughs> now, you do not have the stats of what you are still no, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason, yell at me in the comments what you want. There is now a wolf behind. <laughs> cool. That is your action to cast. <laughs> Uh, you've really... used all your movement to get in here. Yep. You still have a bonus action if you want. Hello, mate. Um, no, I did just look at my paw and... <laughs> it still smells like copper. Yeah. <laughs> it's method yeah. acting. He's become a method actor in the time that he left. <laughs> um, I'm gonna... Uh, I, don't, I, I think maybe it's the same, but just to clarify, because I can do my bonus action, I'm just gonna make my um, Eldritch Cannon and Blast out to fire. To, uh, it's like Beast Wars. It's a wolf inside of like this big cannon comes out on top. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah. I will say they'll realize very quickly you're not a real wolf, though, once you use that. So of course, yeah, of course, cool. yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, next one is the dwarf. Uh, the first one they're going to run in. Fire uh, attack. <laughs> cannon wolf. Uh, can I get the AC of mini, please? Uh, a dirty twenty will absolutely hit. Uh, that is eight points of slashing damage. The first one comes in, kink, brings the axe down in on the leg. The frost giant is also going to come in and engage. And is going to attempt to cleave straight down on the top. Now, I've moved his ask up here. Would you like to be on top or underneath, Minnie? I was thinking on top because the wolf is scary, so I'll... Well, okay. I mean, let's say I climbed up because I was okay. very much thinking on top. I don't want to cool. retroactively say, and now I'm hiding because no. there was a wolf just a moment ago. Well, no, now there is also a wolf. But that it's one actually looks a papoose weird, on though. its back, and that's like, <laughs> oh, that one. We did have like bays or something. Yeah. Now, Zask. This is bad. This is very bad. I, I, hello. Hi. I need to. I need to talk to you. Don't look at me. Look at me, please. <laughs> no. Look at me, please. <laughs> oh, if I just look over here, nothing bad will happen to me. <laughs> The frost giant raises its axe it's to bring it down to you. Don't have the points. The grey eyes looking directly axe through. Axe D12, you're fine. You point. can either make a dexterity save to jump out of the way, yeah. and that will halve the damage, or you can stay there and attempt to stem Minnie out of the way. So you protect yourself with the robot. Oh! Screw the robot! <laughs> <laughs> Does that ask you to think about this? No. I'm, I'm giving the option. Um. Uh, I feel like, I, I, I don't know what's tactically more sensible, but instinctively, I'm getting out of the way, man. Okay. The robot's here to protect me. Cool. Like, you want me to make a deck save? Uh, yeah. I will in a second. Damn. Uh, that is going this to be, can I get Minnie's like, uh, uh, thing again, please? Sorry. Minnie's AC, uh, AC is 20. Yeah. So the first one misses as the axe comes out, rolled a natural seven. Yes, bitch. <laughs> second one hits. The first one's a bit slow, and the second one comes down, and this gigantic axe, the size of, you know, a small tree comes straight down through. Dexterity saving through, please. Oh, See, so there'll be half or full oh, damage for no, you. I'm gonna use my... Get it, get it, get it out. Get it out. <laughs> it's serious. Oh, God! Why are the big dice rolling crap tonight? Natural one! Natural, very natural, very okay. long. The glasses, are, the glasses are very aptly positioned at the moment for the smack <laughs> you would have just taken. <laughs> <coughs> oh boy! No, that's it. That's it. Oh. There's no like. There's not even a, a sliver of a chance that I'm gonna. Oh, that. it's okay, boy. Oh, I, 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 I'll, I'll I've got you. twelve hit points left, my friends. As many steadies itself, and you try and you get ready to jump. Your foot catches in one of the rivets on the back. On the rivets. As you both take <laughs> twenty-eight points oh of slashing damage, and you are not off Minnie's back onto the ground, prone, and I'm assuming unconscious. Yeah. Okay. Oh. This we've we've had better fights. We've had better fights. We've had better fights. The second dwarf comes in. Don't kill Minnie's gonna be fine. Minnie's the big threat in the room. Minnie's got this. Both mess. Yeah. All eyes are on the wolf watch at the moment. Minnie's protecting you all. Look, no one's gonna get past Minnie. Can Mini like function? I don't you? know! <laughs> Possibly just, not! I've just realized I was like, who is Mini? I just realized the wolf. Mini, <laughs> the Mini. Gotcha. Is definitely named. The life of Mini Titan. Lovely. Okay. Affectionately named Mini. Yeah. Their action again. The spectre moves through in four. Yet another time, Fabian. You suddenly feel cold come through as the spectre stands in the middle of the circle. Sarek's turn. Yes! Uh, he's going to use his bonus action 
to pop up. Looking overhead, and he's going to close his eyes and concentrate, and he pulls the crystal out of his arm. His, arm, his black arm immediately disappears. <coughs> and now, now we go. And he launches it straight into the middle, into the hole where the spectre is. I need to roll some dice, please. Oh, uh, deflect missiles. Can I try and catch it? <gasps> yes, you can. It's not aimed at me, but... It, I will allow that. Rose, I swear Rose. to God, you're Alec on the sexiest person ever. You're taking a negative one. I would like to give my inspiration to Rose for this role. Nope. Deny. <laughs> no, no. Oh, sorry. You could give Dio inspiration away. No. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I love, I love it, but this is very much, and also because it's you that caused this. I think this is that. That's me. No, it's it's a <laughs> you know I mean. So do I need to? No, I think it's me. It's a D10 plus my level plus my dex. Okay, I'm gonna to catch to catch this. I'm gonna roll a D20 and add my spellcasting modifier. And I will tell you what you need to roll. Okay, Rose. Yes. What 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 are you what are you, what are you adding up again? Uh, I'm double checking, but what I've written down here is a D10 plus my level plus my dex. Okay. Rose, you need to roll an 18 or higher. It was a, it was a low roll, an 11 plus. Uh, sorry. Okay. <gasps> okay, cool. Uh, 19. Yes! Oh, oh I fucking oh. love you. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled max on my D10. Oh. Max on my D10. Oh. And yeah, please, Sarah, I can just go. <laughs> With, yeah. you could almost say lust in his eyes, he launches it like a javelin directly at the spectre, and your hand <laughs> catches it through the stomach of the spectre. Oof. Your hand is now locked in place on the other side. Your arm is cold and twisted. You can't move. The spectre turns and looks at you and looks and turns and faces the crystal and its hands attempt and hold them out as if waiting to be given something. Turn, we'll come back to that. That was my reaction. Cool. That was Sarek's action and bonus action uh, for the movement. Um, he's pissed. Uh, he's going to move back to the other side. One, two, three, two, two, two. Yep, he can get all the way down using all his movement. Dead set. Eyes locked on you. Oh, you stupid, stupid boy. Oh, I haven't got to make an example out of you yet. You sexy, sexy boy. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> I'll agree to that. Myla. Uh, Myla. His yeah, abs ripple. Up. Go on, sorry. <laughs> um, cool. Um, I'm going to just like step to the side so I can see Sarek. Still fairy fired, still lit the fuck up. Yep, he is, he is glowing. <sighs> Can't believe that one. And Myla is just going to reach out and go stop and cast hold person on Sarek. Okay. What's the save I need to make? Con save 16. No, whiz save 16. Wisdom save 16? Sorry, yeah. That's fine. This is the turning point. This is the turning tide. Don't, just... Don't, don't. He fails. Yeah! But... Legendary resistance. No. Help me. And he looks, and there's a weird cylindrical hole at the top above the forge, and this bright flash of red comes out like lightning. All of your eyes flash red for a second. Is he going to use his one and only legendary resistance to succeed on that? Not today. I'll have you yet. What else would you like to do? Um. Did perfectly with that bit there. Uh, and that's where we're going to take a break. Oh ah! <laughs> You're right, that was a perfect point. Cool, it's not over. Going to take a minute. Steady yourselves, talk amongst yourselves, see what else you want to do next. The plan we'll just is chill. on. Stay tight. We'll be back in just a minute with more Who yeah, Lives, uh, who, dies. who Dies. Thanks very much. Who Dies. Who Dies. I, did it. I drew it out, I drew it out, I drew it out, I drew it out. Okay, right. 
Greetings, peasants. Alexei Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is, uh, there is Erin Gray, who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. And, and, and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf Gelfi. I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes. He does the, uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. Oh, what is it with people and titles? Honestly, it's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description, so you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. And welcome back from the break. Uh, before we left, our party was embroiled in, in dangerous combat against Sarah K. Fury, uh, with heroes rising and falling simultaneously. D22, through shenanigans and some ridiculous dice rolls, turned oh, himself yeah. into a wolf and about to enter the fray. A resurrected frost giant is battling many, the not so many Warforged, with Zark taking a heavy hit from said giant and is currently lying bleeding out on the floor. <laughs> Alexi, after courageously confronting Sarek face to face, was instead turned on his allies, immediately cutting down Myla, who in turn reacted by sending out a shockwave so powerful, it knocked Alexi out of his stupor, um, taking down Sarek, but has possibly ruined several other things in the process. And finally, through some heroic reactions, Fabian caught the very crystal shards Sarek had been attempting to use to start what seems to be the ritual he's been working on this entire time. Though doing that now, Fabi is now locked in place, the hand gripping the crystal and the spectre covering the arm, unable to move over the very portal where they stand. And now as we return to combat and Sarek, through some other power, has shaken off the whole person, suddenly attempted my Viola, we now return back to her turn in combat. Myler, it's still your turn. What happens next? Uh, there's just not really anything she can do. Um, so, yeah, she's just going to, like, move very slightly to the side. Um, here? Yeah. Cool. You back yourself against the wall and get to the side a little bit. You notice one of the corners that Fabian hit is, is crackling quite a bit. Oh! Uh, no, I mean, I can't do anything. You've only got bonus, your bonus uh, yeah. action. You're but yeah, my, my bonus action can't cool. do shit. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Guys, we're waiting. waiting. Wait. Waiting. Waiting in progress. What is that face you're making? It's a good face. It's a good face. It's good. It's good. Um, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, actually, so instead of going around that, cor that corner, I'm going to move slightly around to like this. Basically, Whichever side I can get very lightly obscured by. So like even if it's back towards Alexi, sure. like back around there slightly, anywhere around there where I'm lightly obscured. Just just the most vaguest of cover. Lightly obscured to who? To Sarek? To and like just generally. He can be looking at me directly and that's fine. Are you trying to hide? Yes, I am nature's mantling this. And even if I am directly observed, 
as long as I'm slightly obscured, I can still hide as cool. a bonus. You'll need to come back a little bit here, but you can do Fine. that. Fine. Cool. cool. Make a stealth check. <sighs> right, 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 right. Thank God I remembered I had that shit. Um, You're a queen. Do, 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 do. Check him out. <laughs> Well, that just <coughs> went off over there. Nineteen. Nineteen episodes until we learn how to figure out how to do dice, guy. <laughs> He's not even listening. Cool. Yeah. Uh, Alexia <laughs> barely notices Myla slips to the side, adjusts her cloak, and suddenly blends in with the other. On the shelf. Familiar about her. Hey. <laughs> it's an elf yeah. on the shelf. Hey. <laughs> good lord. Oh, it's like snelf, but shelf. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Yeah, next, next round. Uh, right. I'm a snail on the shelf. Snail on the shelf. Oh, there we snelf. go. Yes. Right. These two dwarves are gonna keep wailing on Minnie. Uh, one hits. Uh, it's another ten points of damage. Um, can you get Minnie's HP, please? I've, actually, oh. no, I've got, I've got, it, I've got it, I've got it. Not me. You mean what it is right now? Though? Yes, yes, please. Um, oh no, I've been counting up, so I have to do. That's the, fine. That's fine. I have to do the maths. Cool. Um, it's, it's. Shit. It's 89. 89? 89 damage so far. No, 89 hit 89. Oh, right, right, right. Cool, it's cool, taking 36 cool. points of damage. Lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cool. Uh, right, that's its turn. Um, yeah, I think that makes the most sense. Sarek is going to use two legendary actions to summon that spectre again. We can get it two hits against on, on you again at advantage because you are currently... No, uh, patient defense. So it's a straight hit. Okay. Cool. <laughs> One hits. Oh, you don't have plus two to your AC anymore either, my Yeah, I assumed Obviously. that was the case. Yeah. Never got to use that, yeah. sad face. <sighs> cool, that is that. Uh, you take eight points of necrotic damage. Oof. As once again it goes straight through you. That stuff seems to sort of catch as it like reaches the spectre, it seems to react with that a little bit as it comes out again. You feel that cold chill, but it doesn't leave your arm this time, and your arm feels like it's freezing on the inside. It's not a good time. Uh, right, what cool, there's legendary action on that. Uh, Myla, Dwarf has gone. Zask, you're up. <laughs> David's there like... Oh, you're gonna roll it? <laughs> We're all sitting here like... like <laughs> Except that's guy who's chilling as a wolf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got a plan. Cool. Thank God. <laughs> Alexi. How far away is Sarek? Sarek K. Fury is... From me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can get there with all your movement? I don't want to do that. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alexi is going to go there between those two crystals. Do, uh, do, do. Cool. As, he get, as he stands there, he's going to look at Sarek, extend the bandaged hand... You seem to be a man that r really likes people being afraid. <laughs> How about you start to panic, and I'm going to cast Blood Curse of the Anxious. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to imbue it. I take three points of damage. His heartbeat starts to race like panic attack levels of fast. Okay. Is um, that a save I need to make, or is it just... No. Until the end of my next turn. Fucking happens. Um, intimidation checks against you are all advantage, and wisdom saving throws are at disadvantage. Oh. Oh. Yes, bitch! Oh. And he's just like, essentially like turning the speed of his heart up. Oh. And you can see the panic in his eyes, but it doesn't seem to be completely fixated on you at the same time. It keeps darting between you and whatever's happening in the middle. Can I double check? Am I? Do I have the frightened effect on me? No, no. Okay. Uh, you're just you're starting cool. to panic, but cool. you're not frightened. <laughs> and Alexi is just gonna like pull up the falchion <laughs> towards the crystal that's already damaged and go. This one. <laughs> <laughs> you're attacking the crystal. Fuck yeah! <laughs> There's your baby. Okay. <laughs> Make an attack roll. Two attacks. Oh, that's my face. Go this. We've got like, face. Yeah. Uh, the plan is in action. Time, the plan is in action. Time. One at a time. Go David. Go David. Go David. Um, eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Yeah. All damage, please, separate. All what? All Any damage you roll is separate, separate. So split oh, okay. your radiant uh, with your fire and your 
slashing. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so this is 1d10 plus 4 for slashing, which is 13. Uh, 1d8 fire, which is 7. And 1d6 of radiant, and it's 1. Okay. Next hit. Two points of damage for me. We're not going to be up for much longer. Um, I'm going to use my inspiration to take this one at advantage. Is this what I got for calling you a walking natural one? Yeah. Gosh, all this, all that time. <laughs> I still <laughs> held on to it. I remembered. That is a twenty dirty. That <laughs> absolutely hits. Yeah, bitch, it does. Separate again. Nine slashing. Yep. Three fire. Yep. <laughs> Six radiant. Yeah. Feel your power. <laughs> okay. Slay queen. Yes! <laughs> Fabian, you feel the crystal start to vibrate and reverberate and shake in your hands. And looking through the spectre, you see t t t t tiny little shattered cracks appear and you also hear like a small vapor like a kettle starting to escape from the sides at a pitch I cannot do <laughs> seems like you can do it <laughs> I, used to, I used to back in that cool uh, is there anything else you'd like to do Alexi how much movement do I have left uh, you have 10 feet of movement left how far away is Sarek uh, from where you are, where yep. you are, uh, I'm gonna say 15. You can't quite get to it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here for now. Then. Good as gold. Okay. <laughs> He's used as two. He's used to, okay. No, that's fine. Fabian. Hello. Do so, it. question: How big is the crystal that I'm holding? Forearm. Oh, cool. uh, okay. No, 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 not no, that plan. That, that plan is not going to work. I'm going to. <laughs> Attempt to drag my arm out of the spectre, but not through to the side, okay. so that I can be free. Make a strength save. I want to make free. I want to make free. This is your action, just so we're clear. Yep. Go. Oh, oh, I rolled no. one. Oh shit. No. Do I have Get. advantage? <laughs> Rit. Oh. No, you do not. No, just let me think about sometime, maybe at some point. Nope. Nope. Wait. Cool. Nope. Uh. D22 looks ready. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're giving me the eyes, mate. Just wait. It's not your turn yet. Um. Um. You're um, holding the crystal, and the spectre is holding its hands out, waiting to receive it underneath. Um, I'm restrained. I can't run away. Your speed is zero. Cool. I love that for me. Uh, even if I disengage? Something is trapping your arm and it's locked inside uh, okay. the spectre. Just it's not that someone's holding you back, it's that it is locked. Inside. It's like you put your arm through a concrete wall and it is just like set in place. Wait, so the spectre is solid now? <clears throat> it feels solid to you. It looks translucent, but it feels solid. I use my... I No, I haven't taken the attack action. Okay. Um, do I want to do this? Fuck. No, I'm... Uh, uh, Three, two... Uh, bonus action, I'm going to spend a key point yep. and take patient defense again. Okay, cool. Noted. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, I have one left now. D22. <laughs> Wolf22. Whatever, whatever your new <laughs> designation is. I think Firewolf is the official name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wolf Cannon. I love Wolf Cannon. <laughs> uh, you watch Zask go down. You watch this giant and the two doors wailing on the better Warforged in front of you. Can't mm -hmm. even turn into a wolf. What's his deal? Can I see anything behind the wolf forge? Or is uh, it... You can, but you've got to make a perception check, which yep. is going to be your action to do. No. Uh, okay, so I'm going to. Focus. I'm, I'm a relatively mangy looking, unsuspecting, <laughs> not vicious, just background. No one should worry about me. With a flamethrower oh, sticking out his back. <laughs> Cantering wolf, just okay. sticking close to the walls, and I'm going to walk around 
past Zask, past the uh, past the Warforged. Okay. Um, I'm going to say make a performance check. Yes. Sure. Straight roll. Just yes. just to see if you're believable as a wolf. And they're going to roll against intelligence to see if anyone notices. Seven. <laughs> the two dwarves fail. The giant gets a natural 20. Jesus. So, so straight away. What that means is you can use your full movement Lucky. to get to here. Lucky. But the giant has seen you. Lucky. 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 I'm going to go Lucky. again. Oh! <laughs> so. Yeah, sorry. Agreed. Um. Just as a reminder, Lucky, you can roll again, or yeah. you can make Matt roll. It's against. a roll. Yeah, it's a roll against him. So yeah, that, that's that's completely because okay. it was. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So are you rolling again? Are you so making I'm gonna roll again? again with the advantage that you've granted me, if that's okay. okay. Oh, okay. yes, you tasty wench. Yes. Or you could take the roll I just did for the giant on the re-roll. <laughs> was that not very good? <laughs> it's up to you if you want to take that gamble. <coughs> no, I've done it now, so I'm gonna stick to it. Okay. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re-roll mine with advantage. Okay. Go yeah, for you it. are. Yeah, you are. Oh, so s- performance eleven, uh, thirteen. Thirteen. The giant still sees you. Fuck. But fuck. you are a little bit more convinced. But you know, uh, which well, you're unconscious. You don't know. Uh, but you walk past and you do see Zask lying, bleeding from the back of their head mm-hmm. on the ground. You. That's your movement. You still got your action. Your bonus action. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do. I see Zask, Mm -hmm. D2 on my head, plays back a couple of memories to me. Zask talking to me, the guy's talking to me, everything else. D2, D22 reaches behind the hat somewhere, pulls out the back of the battery to charge the makeshift battery charging D2. D2 (laughs) dies. One, he has a spare attunement slot. Okay. The attunement slot is going to touch his newly forged armor with a flower. Welded into the front, and he is going to cast armor of magical strength. Oh, on this him. is going to be your action to do, and yep. your bonus action because technically we should be doing this in mids, but I'll allow it because yep. you've had enough time by yourself. So, yep, what does that do, please? Amazing. So, I have six charges, and the when the wearer makes a strength check or a strength saving throw, it can expend one charge to add a bonus to the roll equal to its intelligence modifier. Um, okay. And yeah, I guess he's moved, he's, he's done his full movement now. What does that put your AC to? At 19. Okay, cool. Tasty. Very nice. Um, Wish my armor was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if the creature is not prone, it can use my reaction to expend one charge to avoid being knocked prone. The armor regains 1d6 expended charges daily at dawn. Um, yeah. So I was already on 19 armor anyway, so I don't think I add anything to that. No, so it just gives you that little extra bonus on top. Oh. Your previous armor was 18. So 18 it gives you, it plus, gives you one plus, little bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a plus one for the enhanced armor anyway. Okay, so yeah, it does, it does make no difference. Then. Cool. Cool. All right, in that case then, uh, the dwarf is going to wail, uh, which misses. Uh, Mini. Hey. Uh, Frost Giant. It's going to make a decision whether to keep wailing or to go for you. It steps forward. It raises its axe. Two more on mini. Uh, one hits. Uh, mini I'm takes an extra right. 13 plus. Bit with, bit with, bit with. So many dice. 13. Takes another 19 points down to 60. Cool. Right. Uh, it also bellows out a cry, uh, which you will notice Sarek's ears prick up and finally looks past you to see the kerfuffle happening at the other end. Cool. Uh, top of initiative. Other dwarfs can have a go. Natural one. Absolutely misses. Thanks. Fabian. Hello. The spectre reaches his hands up and grabs the crystal. Is going to attempt to pull it from you. No. Do I need to do anything? Can uh, I do anything? You need to make a strength saving throw for me, please. It's a straight roll. Okay, so this one's been rolling bad all night, but this one just gave me a natural one. That's how property works. Ah, uh, don't make me choose. <laughs> it's contested. Probably not. 
three. <gasps> <laughs> Comes up. Your the forearms. The forearms. It's like you're doing like the church press a little bit. <laughs> 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 Course. Note you keep it, the guns flex, and the hands just sort of slip off as you are not willingly giving it up. Yes. Nothing happens. Cool. Sarek so is pissed. He's going to come around. Okay. He's going to line you up. Okay. He's going to make a perception check to see if you can see. Uh, he spots you as well, Myla, in the distance. Shit. But I'm such a good shelf. <laughs> Cast lightning bolt straight not to worry I've got tax collectors so here's the thing I'm not sure if you can all see this Sarah can either shoot you two Nope. Or you two. So you can either get the Snelf or the one holding the crystal. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I know which one he's going to go for. <coughs> oh, it's a roll. Interesting. Sarek turns. Go get you soon. Uh, dexterity saving throws. Both oh, of you disadvantage God. for you, please, because you are currently restrained. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not too bad, has it? So you're not using the tray that I kindly gave you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just that I want Myla to be able to w- witness I will, me. I want her back then. If that's because I'll be non-human. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got that brilliant one in there that was that's exactly true. the that decent. Yeah, the, 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 the donk of it. Like, bonk. Bonk. What would you say? Uh, 19. Success. Mine's a fail. <laughs> Natural one? 13. Okay. 31 points of lightning damage as you yeah. <laughs> cuts through you, halved for you, so rounding up 15 points of lightning damage. I would have been out regardless. Um, Alexi goes down. Fabian, you stand attack. <laughs> Still holding the crystal and your hands clenched, locked up, unable to let it go. Alexi goes down. Uh, Milo, it just misses you and you feel the heat and the fury come off as what starts blue becomes black and purple and disfigured, taking out the lovely shelf from Sticky Fingers thank you very much, sorry for doing that on the side and strikes through, taking out all the debris in the back, smashing the back of the wall cool Uh, he is also going to, he's already done that he can't do that twice Uh, he is going to scale back up the wall and try and get some height on himself with the rest of his movement and is now essentially spider climbing up top, again. Go next. I promised you. Uh, that's his turn. Miley, you're up. No, really. I said stop. And she's going to cast Hold Person again. And he has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Okay. What's the save I need to make? 16. Wisdom? Yeah. With disadvantage? With disadvantage. Absolutely not. And... If he succeeds, can you please tell me by how much? Am I allowed to tell you that? Because I can apply a minus one penalty. Natural one. (sighs) The crystals keep forming and he loses control for a second. Rage and blood start to cry out of his eyes. Still your turn. Carry on. Um, okay. Cool. Um, <laughs> got him, I guess. Finally! Everyone else, just get uh, him. When does he get to make saves? I'm just, just that's of... what I'm just checking. Cool, thank you. Um, I also just need to In take that different. spell slot. Um, and is, he, is he restrained at this point? Uh, he's paralyzed. He can't speak. Uh, he will teleport away. Can't teleport away. He has uh, disadvantage on strength and deck saves. You have advantage on attacks that uh, are made against him. And if you're within five feet and you succeed, it's an automatic crit. Understood. Understood. I think that's everything. <laughs> Doing my best. <laughs> we believe you. We love you so much. Thank cool. You. Okay. We've all had real Great. clutch moments tonight. Anything else? Uh, okay. I'm gonna move 
So is he just paralyzed up the wall? He's literally pinned to the wall. It's not a it's not a spell or an ability. Yeah, so it's yeah. cr- he's basically okay. just like locked in place. Um, does he not drop? Nope. If he's been climbing up, the, okay. Knocked. The only reason he got knocked down is your thunder wave knocked him off the wall. Before. Oh, okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 cool. Um, 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 um. Uh, right. I'm gonna run up towards uh, Alexi. How many? How much of my movement is that? I've only got thirty feet movement. Four, five. Yeah, you can get up to him. Cool. Um. Uh, just gonna kind of try and like physically shield him if I can Uh, because there's nothing else I can do at this point but let's just try and absorb some damage I also can't absorb that much damage but hey ho (laughs) you get on top great I'll allow that cool I'll just be yeah next to him figuratively I think this is the second time I've done this for Alexi as well so you know he should really be a bit more grateful rather than stabbing me well the other time was after he uh, crawled you away from something (coughs) where you had a nervous breakdown no 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 no. this was way back in the goblin forest when you went down 14 points of damage too many please from the other dwarf as it keeps wailing on it (sighs) oh yeah because you know someone might choose something stupid I don't know who you're talking about (laughs) another death save Okay. Alexi. Hi. It's another death save. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Not 20. Not 20. <laughs> Come on, Raven Queen. <laughs> <laughs> She's just sat there like... Doo, doo, cool. Doo, 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 Can't be like your <laughs> fucking chosen one if you if I die. God. Oh, What's wrong with that? <laughs> She's just like, you need to get a little cloth. Yeah. Can't do that anymore. 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 Can't do that anymore, dwarf's gonna go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it was the end of the turn end of his turn, by the way, that he So end of his next turn yeah. Oh yeah, end of yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Another eleven points for Minnie, please. How's Minnie looking? Uh forty three. Cool. Minnie's looking pretty hurt. Still standing, still fighting against the frost giant. <laughs> um <laughs> You okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, one Jeffrey. miss, one hit. Nobody knows what goes on in that room. Are you unconscious, Lexi? Yeah. Ten, sixteen. Another sixteen. Seven. Cool. The frost giant bears down <laughs> on the axe. Minnie's hammer arm falls off. The frost giant, using its movement, is now going to push. Past. Uh, I need a contestant to strength oh, check, please. No. You roll for Mini um, to see if the frost giant can make its way past. Yeah, Mini's not actually doing anything. Mini's, not Mini, like Mini's standing there, but Mini also is going to just be in the way. Okay. Um, oh, this is so cool. bad because I've got. Mini is locked in place, and the giant, no despite reaching for D22, still can't push back. Um, but there's no lots. Cool. But Great. do you, you go after Alexi so you won't go do anything before, uh, like before he potentially saves? That's a hit. That's another that's six advantage. point that's damage. He doesn't have For many? No, uh, sorry. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, as in no, like... If I hit him. Oh, um, going again. Uh, another strength contest, please. Fucking, fucking what? Oh, no. Um. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes. Aha, yes. Uh, what, I've uh, 22. 19. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh! Time trying, it's skeletal Poor hands digging things. in and trying to come through. And you are, this is why you don't skip arm day, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this is the, this is the Cool. Uh, right, it is now Sarek's turn. Sarek, can't do one moment, please. Call is. <laughs> This is my hold music. I don't know. Nothing I can do with that's impressive. Oh, because I'm holding person as well. Yeah. Yay! Sarek, I need to really move, but looks around and opens his mouth. <coughs> and pure darkness spills out. Mm, I don't think he can do that. It's verbal and... He can't move either. Verbal and material. It's not somatic. I thought he couldn't speak when he's paralyzed. He can't speak? No, he can't move or speak. 
A paralyzed so creature is incapacitated. Can't be able to speak. Very good. So what we mean is, <laughs> suck a dick, Sarek. This has been coming for however the fucking... What, 25 All episodes? Right. What do you What's mean, the 25 fuck? episodes? <laughs> <laughs> right, you fucking guy! <laughs> you could see the frustration <laughs> in his face. <laughs> like he's trying to force out and just can't. Um, wisdom saving throw is going to be 18. Shit. Oh, and I he forces and his veins pop. Pops! <laughs> I'm going to get here. every single one of you. <laughs> That's the end of his turn. I apologize to headphones wearers <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> He breaks the whole person. Milo, you're up. Have another whole person spell stop? Yeah. You doing another whole person? I think I might. All right, that's fine. I'm just, I got this. Uh... I think shit, yeah. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 we're doing it again. Yeah, no, you don't, counter spell. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> ah. No, 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 fool me once. <sighs> God damn it, counter spell, I knew you'd get me back with that at some cool. point. Um, nah. Yeah, that's your action, you've just got your movement and your bonus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I can't even. I can't heal myself. I can't do anything. Can't heal yourself? No, because it's a spell. You can't do two level spells. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, do you not have a, a healing hand drip? No. Fuck. no. I don't think there are any. No. Uh, healing word. It's uh, not counted level. Spell. level. Oh, can't do two level spells in the same turn. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Leveled and cantrip cool. is fine. <coughs> no. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd I'd use that. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> tragically anything not. Else? There is literally, I don't think anything I can do other than now try and absorb a hit. Cool. Legendary action. Uh, gonna misty step. Uh, do, do, do. Not far. Get some behind the shelf that you knocked over before. Cool. Great. Um, three, six. Another six points of damage for Mini. What's Mini on, please? 31. Cool. Mini's starting to break down. D22, you see the large Warforged Titan start to get down on one knee as it's repeatedly being bashed by these three on the front. Um, cool. <coughs> Zask. Mini's doing a really good job. Um, Mini's like, doing great at really blocking. Yep. The yep. fucking. He's alright. <laughs> okay. Alexi. Such no, I... a teenager. <laughs> okay. Yay. Fabian. Hello. What would you like to do? Cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 remind me, uh, healing potion on yourself. Bonus is action. A bonus action. Okay. Cool. And can I reach Alexi from where I am? Is he no. on the ground next to me? He is on the ground. Oh, mm. I did. He was up, he was up, he was up, he was up there. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll. I'll I'll allow that because he is immediately. Cool. So there. Yeah. one hand holding the crystal, I'm gonna reach into my pocket and take the potion in my pocket because I'm low. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, that is sad. Two. Oh god. Four. Eight. It's uh, forty-four plus four. plus four. Yeah. So. Um. For you or for Alexi? Me. No, that's me. It's bonus action. And then I will. Um. Presumably can't reach my other hand down because I'm stuck in the middle of this fucking spectre. Correct. But I will shift my body over and twist and try and touch Alexi with the side of my leg, my foot. I'll allow that. Cool, and I'm going to spend my last key point and cast healing hands. Cool. Thank you. Healing feet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> healing toes. Oh, oh. Uh, oh I'm sorry. Hands. <laughs> the hands of cool. the legs. Uh, uh, for sure. Sure. Yeah. You're the worst. I am the worst. Ah, uh, it's not great. Uh, six hit points. Thank you. Cool. Alexi, you suddenly feel a pressure on your side and <gasps> you're back up. Uh, Prone with Myla shielding your body. Uh, 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 
and Fabian's foot just on your ankle. <laughs> oh, it's still going, is it? Right. <laughs> Can you describe that, actually? How does that look? <laughs> well, it's like, literally, he shifts over and just gonna, like, put his uh, foot down on top of, like, Alexi's leg. Cool. I assume. And just kind of think about uh, the people who have taught him and carried him through life and sacrificed the last of what he has to bring Alexi back up. You could put your foot on his chest and give it like a pump, like like a <laughs> defibrillator. Get <laughs> <laughs> stomped in the chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people pay good money for Okay. That. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Cool. Right. D22, <laughs> you're up. Help, please. <laughs> Okay, you I'm have an unconscious and dying Zask in front of you. How far away am I from uh, from um, Sarek? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. You are about 35, 40 feet away from him at the moment. I am going to charge towards Sarek. Okay. Just glad, so just, are you trying to dash, or <laughs> just use your full normal movement instead of going? Normal movement, because I want to attack. <laughs> cool. That'll get you there. Perfect. And then um, I am going to cast Shatter, please. Are you still pretending to be a wolf? Okay. Uh, so, um, no, I'm ditched out the form now. Oh, so, so you're back to... Cool. You all look, and Miley, you look as you see a wolf, and then... <laughs> the form of D22 comes sprinting into the room. Describe what happens, please. No, so as he's le- 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 leaning forward, he holds on, t- uh, clutching his chest at the kind of ingrained flower on his, on his chest, and uh, and yeah, casts casts shatter, which emanates from his mouth. A noise you've never really heard come from D22 before, which sounds like pain and betrayal, but mixed with uh, <laughs> courage. Um, slight <laughs> eminence of kind of like like a slight bit of fire and ember kind of can be seen audibly as it shouts and it shrieks. Great. Um, to land directly at Sarah. Cool. Is it an attack roll or do I need to make a save? Um, so I believe it says uh, save is 15. Uh, wisdom, Am constitution. I right? Do I uh, need to make a save? Yeah, con save 15. Con save 15. Con save 15. Yeah. Con save 15. Um, yeah. Can you place it or do I have to make the save as well? Uh, just if you uh, move honestly, that. I don't know. Oh no, is that is that it there? Yeah, yeah, this is it. Um, so it is a 10 foot sphere. So. Yeah, you can you can keep it just on. Okay. Yeah, you can get just Sarek yeah. with okay, that. Okay, cool, cool. Because I can't see around this corner, so I'm just like, yeah. no, cool. far away enough, friends. Natural four, he fails. <sighs> Beautiful. Ah, ah. Three D eight. Come on. Okay. Smash it. That's a six, <laughs> seven, eight. It's got two ones in that. My okay. Madness. It it shoots out and strikes him. <laughs> Um, the crystals around his feet all shatter, and he suddenly is planted back on the ground as his weird sort of revolting crystal platform is gone. And he takes eight points of damage. Cool. And then as a bonus action, uh, I will use um, my Eldritch Cannon, please. Yes. So the flamethrower. Flame flame yeah. Light him up. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Oh. Eight, 16 points. Oh. 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 What's this? And he's, he's staring you both down. What's his? Ah. And then in turns to see. Oh, see abomination. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. Thank you. For uh, anything else you want to do, butts. guy? Yep. Sorry. Anything else you want to do? I think that's it. You've used no, it. Yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. yeah, I didn't want to. Think. Cool. Right. Exercise my guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do one. Thirty-one points of damage to many. What's how many I left? With a great cleave, the frost giant oh, fuck, 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 cuts fuck. the war force directly in half. So we're gonna wipe out Sark this time, this is over. It's okay, I believe in you. Hmm? I believe in you. Cool. 
just came to range to get to him. D22, you hear very big footsteps coming behind you. It is not this. <laughs> Contested again, please, Rose. That was a journey. That was that a was fucking a journey. journey. That was I, I. I went through many stages of grief with <laughs> that roll. Yes. Cool. cool. I rolled eighteen. Cool. Still nothing. <laughs> You're just there being like protein. <laughs> protein. <laughs> Crystal or Sarek. I mean... Is he held? No, he's not. He's counterspelled. Mm. Either way, with my hit points, it is, it's a suicide run. Sarek is going to hit you. Who's you? You, sorry, uh, oh. Fabian. Damn it. Uh, with Scorching Ray. Ooh. Um, and he's also... He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. No, no, it's straight. Just one. Um, cool. One, two, three. Okay, first one absolutely hits. Um, nineteen hits. Yep. Eighteen hits. Yep. Cool. Oh, three, shit. three hits. Shit. As you take sixty-six points of fire damage. Sixty-six. Oh, six, six. 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 oh my so, god. god. Right, I was just like, Jesus All ones. Christ. All ones, Matthew. Ten. Is, is anyone strong enough to take six? Eighteen. Twenty-three points of fire damage as <laughs> you get struck in the back. Clean. All three. Still, still standing? Out. Okay. But grip on the crystal loosens and Fabian collapses. Okay. You go down. That's gonna kill us. The spectre grabs it, and Sarek turns and looks. Yes, yes. <sighs> That's no longer his turn. The spectre is now holding the crystal. Uh, Zask is down. Fabian is down. Alexi is conscious, but still lying down. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's your turn, Myla. Oh God. Oh, and there's a giant frost giant in the room now. Yeah, as well. great. <laughs> Just fucking brilliant. Um, okay. That doesn't just go away. There's yeah. a big, there's yeah, a big body like there. That. Yeah, <laughs> crystal. Do I, do I just take the crystal? Well, I was gonna say. I mean, I can. <coughs> I mean, I can as well. I don't know if I. I don't think I have the movement. That's to make the thing. It to I'm yeah, we're a hail mary territory yeah, we're, now. We're, yeah, we're 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 on the last stretch. The only person with HP is D22. <laughs> this is where you unveil the cleric multiclass that you just picked up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have the movement to to get to Zarek. Yeah, half your movement to get up. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I, I wouldn't be able to make it to him. What are we doing? Your friends are dying. What are we doing? Obscure fucking everything, I think. Okay. I think I'm gonna cut maybe I think I'm gonna cast fog cloud on our whole bit. Okay. To try and stop him from being able to see us and doing more damage. Great. Cool. Is will I that, think what I'm doing, will that, but I'm not sure. Will that make everything that we difficult for us to see? <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it'll be you, heavily obscured. Can you place it between him and us? Yes. Yes, I can. That. So, I can basically put it on, like... The ruin bit. Yeah, it's it's 20 foot radius. From you or from a point? From a point. Okay, where would you like to cast it, please? Is there a point that I can do that will be between us and him, but not covering him or us? Uh, It'll basically just be in between the two. If not, I won't do you it. You would have to Think probably shoot it yeah. in this corner here, and it would reach and cover it to about that point. But that would still cover us. It would cover uh, you and Sarek, not Sarek. So Sarek would still be visible. Could you do it on the other side? 
beyond. So what was the range of the spell? Oh, I mean, like it's um, like 120 foot. Oh yeah, can you could do that. You could shoot that anywhere like. in the anywhere in this vicinity. You can see basically, yes. Yeah, but can I cast it on the other side of me? So like between us and Sarek. So like if can, I put it like can there. You point, can you point? Yeah, me laser pointers. Sorry, sorry yes, yeah, yeah. I totally forgotten about laser yeah. pointers. Um, like there, somewhere around here. If you did it here, that will obscure everything, including Sarek will just be on the edge of that as well. Okay. You could cast it on yourself, and Sarek would not be caught in that bubble. Okay, but then presumably all of this would. Yes, all of this would be covered by that point. Yeah. Okay. Sarek, why don't you just block Sarek? You can't see him. He can't see anything, but you can still see the crystal. He's just going to misty step out of it though. Whereas what I was sort of hoping was like him being able to not see us at all. Like it's just going to stop things. Yeah. Okay. Um. Um, okay, uh, oh, there's just not that much I can do. Fuck it, I'll, I'll cast Fairy Fire on him again, at least try and give other people advantage on him again. Sure. Natural 20, he succeeds. <laughs> Panics, Myla it's looks around and... and Sort okay. of gets off a fairy fire. Sarek just with a wave of his hands. No, no. You will not ruin this for me. Oh, well, well clearly. <laughs> uh, okay. What's movement? It's gonna make an attack. Oh, no, that's action dash. That's fine. Sask. Okay. Oh, is that natural 20? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Alexi, you're up. Okay. Sorry, you're not going to need to do much, how many? <laughs> um, Alexi is going to use half his movement to stand up. Uh, he is going to take a look at the situation. It's not good. This is looking bad. He is going to take a look at the fact that I'm sorry, Cave okay, Yuri's, I'm sure more than 15 feet away. Like um, one, two, three. You can get there with an acrobatics check to vault over the breaking because this is the one that Fabian's been hitting. So the way I see it, we've got two options. Fabian's now, like, dead on the floor. Oh, shit, I'd forgotten about that. Fucking hell. I should have just brought you up. I'm an idiot. Oh, well. Nice. Sorry. Uh, oh, I... I can't see you because you're hidden behind a shell. We'll be telling our kids about Fuck, this I don't day. fucking know. <laughs> <Shell strikes> again. <laughs> yeah. So I could make it to him, but it would be an acrobatics check. Yeah. If you want to keep your action and bonus action, yes. Or... Go for the crystal. This is something you've been wrestling with for like the last round or two. Yeah. yeah. Roll a dice. You're right. Um, Spoken. <laughs> approved. approved. Oh, crystal even Sarek. Uh, Sarek. Just do uh, it. Make an acrobatics check. If you want to get there, make an acrobatics check. This is the one that you bought me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> do it. Twenty-two. <laughs> Deftly, you leap, you step over the debris, past Fabian's smoking body, and right up into the face of Sarah K. Fury, who turns to face you. Yeah. Don't make me do it again, little man. Uh, this isn't going to be remotely graceful. Alexi is just going to run with the sword and just try to slam it through him. Go for it, make your attacks. Uh, Don't forget your uh, one at a time. <clears throat> Take your fire damage at the same time, please. So one attack, fire damage, two attacks, fire damage. Okay. Yeah, just in case it takes you out. Yeah, oh yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yep. There's no way the fire damage can take me out. Okay, cool. I'm not aware of your HP, so I just want to make sure everything's Okay, fair. can I just roll both then? Go for it. Please. Come on. There's a one there. Oh, <laughs> oh no. my no. god. No. What was the... What was the the acrobatics is great, and you get over, but you just can't, and Sarek's ready, and just with his one good arm and his stuff, doom, doom, just blocks both it's blows, right. it's all grabs right. you and pulls you in close. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I think I've just killed us. Ah, uh, that's all right. You, this is not uh, all on you, dude. Yeah, we've got already got half the party down. As a legendary action. Roll a d6 for me, please, David. Oh, 
someone else's hand. One. I think it's just yours. Let's make some bugs move. Fuck you. What? It's good, it's good. That's a good sound. Really we like it when you says things like that. Three more dwarves appear around. Jesus fucking Christ. I can do this all day. <sighs> Fabian. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. It's not a 20. Shit. D22. It's not good. What happens next? Sarek is standing face to face with a very bloodied Alexei. Three more dwarves have just been summoned seemingly from the ground. A frost giant is standing directly behind you. Mile is panicked. There's a half walk unconscious. It's quite handsome. <laughs> and Zask is still in the back next to the fallen Warforged. How far is the crystal away from me? 735 feet. You probably need to get a better angle if you're thinking about shooting it. Mm. It's also, it's going to be difficult to rain, so... If you want to get into melee range, it's probably more about 45. So there's a dwarf behind you. Okay. Um, can I can I shoot at the crystal? Yeah, absolutely. With my crossbow. It looks so grim. Um, with a snare attached to it. I have a rope on me to try and hook the crystal. Okay. I want I want the, I want the... I'm going to allow this, but it's going to be movement action bonus action to do it. To try. And, you're essentially trying to hook it in or shoot one of the broken points to try and get it and pull it back. Is that is that yeah. it? Okay. Make your attack roll. Wind it back towards me. Make your attack roll. This going to be a, a roll to hit and then a roll to yank it. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Natural 20. <gasps> oh my god! Ah! <gasps> Guys, <Gary> Samuels! <laughs> just, just. <coughs> Never told you how pretty you are. <laughs> how much damage does your crossbow do? How normally? much damage does it do? Um, I think it's a plus uh, plus seven to hit two d ten damage on firebolt. Uh, normal one eight plus one d four. No, so okay. Um, or, or just someone else check it for me. One d eight plus three. Yeah, one d eight. One d eight plus three. Two d eight damage plus three, please roll that for me. Where's my other eight there? Five plus, plus three. Plus three eight. Eight points of damage. Okay, the arrow shoots and comes perfectly between. So what? and it cuts right into the center, buries itself right in the middle. You didn't quite cause enough damage to make it shatter, but it's starting to glow and it's vibrating. <laughs> it is lodged in there, you can feel it, it has purchase. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do now? I want it, I want the rope to wind back when my chest open. Okay, the we are going to have up. an opposed strength check. 1v1. Okay. Um, and on that strength check, can I use my, my charge to get my bonus? Ooh, his uh, new new armor. I'll allow it. With Mayway's flail. <laughs> Perfect, because I've got my intelligence, which is a plus seven. <laughs> plus my strength check already, which is a... Where's my strength? Probably a zero. It is a zero. Correct. Okay. Eight plus seven, fifteen. Fourteen. <gasps> oh! <laughs> you beautiful bastard! Yes! Um, oh! Right. That dice gone. <laughs> so there is a crystal that is currently being zipped right past the Lexi's face. <gasps> One second. Okay. You pull and as quickly as it goes in, Flyfish, you whip it back again. I would like to, if if I can, use my attack of opportunity to smack it with the falchion. Make. 
It's small and it's zipping quite quickly, so yes. But at disadvantage. Okay. That's a 17 to hit. <gasps> 17 hits. <No! laughs> Damage in pieces, please. So my... I just, the last time we all looked at this grim, I died. <laughs> uh, flashing damage. Hang on, I'm gonna write down the health it has at the moment. I'm sad he didn't just do like a one. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been great. To be fair, it's Matt. He probably did a one and then did some squiggling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, sure. All right. Slashing damage. Oh. Oh. 14. Okay. Fire damage. Mm-hmm. Four. Okay. Radiant damage. I think my radiant fire is okay. gone because I went unconscious. So that's 18 points total, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, God. Okay. The stress. It's too much. D22. <laughs> I need, I need to you shoot. <laughs> it catches. It hooks. <laughs> Just as the skeleton's grabbing it, it flies through the spectre's bony fingers and Alexei, seeing a split second opportunity as Sarek is taunting you you take your falchion, Sarek thinking you're about to slash him and you instead go ha, you missed, as it cleaves straight through the crystal and it immediately cracks in half several things happen oh simultaneously Someone tell us about those things <laughs> okay First of all, the room goes immediately black. Every sense, every bit of light, everything's like, <laughs> complete darkness. And then soft cries start to emanate and echo throughout the room. <sighs> and then as a great cacophony of screams and shouts, not unlike what you heard in the pub earlier, I'm not actually gonna do it because that would be terrible for ears, <laughs> but as a great cacophony sort of comes out and reaches straight through and out, escaping out the still red glowing chimney at the top as endless screams and shouts and suddenly the darkness is filled with a white as tens if not hundreds of thousands of ghosts and faces of fae all look sad and descend and immediately rush out into the night sky. Alexei, you immediately collapse and you feel your heart give out and you are stable, but you are unconscious on the ground. Okay. Cool. As soon as it happens, it stops. Sarek stands there looking dumbfounded in front of every single one of you. The giant and the dwarves, immediately each single one melts. Disappearing. <sighs> we are still in initiative, just need to point mm -hmm. that out. Myla, D22, you notice, you see where it had hit. You see an empty hollow tube of glass and you see this pulsating purple energy vibrating violently in the meter and Sarek's eyes are fixated on it. He reaches his finger up into it and he touches it. <laughs> and this endless wave of black purple energy starts pouring out hitting every single one of you in every direction, filling every crevice. It goes out in every which way in every other direction, and it just watches, and it keeps coming, and it keeps coming, and it keeps coming, and it keeps coming, and it doesn't stop, and Sarek's eyes are fixated, and he looks elated. Zask, you are on two successes and two failures. I would like you to roll your final death save, please. This is very important. Should I use my hat dial? You do whatever you feel is necessary. <laughs> my hat dial at three dial, no. Let me down this time, will you hat dial? Can you use the tray? 
show the natural 20 the light. You like it, don't you? That's a good sign. That's not a good sign. It's okay, I've got them for you. Nine. Oh. The purple energy washes over Zask's lifeless body. I'll come back as a zombie and kill you all. <laughs> Interesting. Um, my last death save was a nine as well. That's so cruel. <laughs> Oh, it's so close, it's so close. Fate, <coughs> you're on two successes. Hey! One failure. Ooh. <coughs> the... Please. Oh, me? Yep. Sorry, big dice, I don't trust you. Ah, 17. Breath catches you the moment before the purple wave hits. Yes, Jeff? Thank you. After about 15 minutes, and Sarek has not moved or said, he seems locked in place, not unlike the whole person you had before. It finally stops. It is eerily quiet. Sarek begins to laugh. <laughs> you are out of initiative, do what you like. We're unconscious. <laughs> I just came to... Sorry, um, I'm still I mean, first thing I'm going to do is healing word, Alexi. Oh. Alexi, you're up. Yes. I just stayed right, I'm unconscious. You are stable. Yeah. Yes. Also, no, oh, you're also unconscious. Yeah. Okay, right. I'll... Were my hit points reduced to zero, or was I just rendered unconscious? You were down to one. Oh, wait, uh, down to zero, yes. No, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you are unconscious, yeah, okay, but you're uh, stable. Also, your max HP has dropped by four. Oof. Um... <laughs> And sorry, instead of bringing up David, I'll bring up Fabian. Fabian. Cool. Not a problem. Um, so, uh, yeah, just do, 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 healing word. Um, this is this is so piddling. Oh, it's a four and a five though, so that's nine. That's oh. the most hit points I can possibly give you. Congrats. <sighs> Sarek collapses. He sits on the ground. <laughs> um, oh, it's just done. Milo's gonna run over to Alexi. Do you have a healing potion on you? No, you don't. Um, uh, I'm out. Like, I'm just totally out of okay. things. Do you um, still have your healing, Hannah? Well, that's the thing. D22, what are you doing? You're seeing Sarek <laughs> laughing. You've seen all of this unfold. Mm hmm. What would you like to do? D also has a healing pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna attack Sarek. Okay. <gasps> no, I do. I have a potion of healing. Cool. All right, we'll do D22 and then we'll come back to you. Yep. Go for it. What would you like to do? So if I cast, um, if I cast Thunder Wave, mm -hmm. that's gonna get my friends, isn't it? It will. <laughs> yes. yeah. Not again. <laughs> I mean, this is a really bad time to be friendly firing, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so in, uh, in um, traditional fashion, no. he's gonna no, he's gonna get his uh, he's gonna um, go for firebolt. Go for it, please. Advantage. Beautiful. These <clears throat> dice have been great. I'm just gonna get my little. Five plus seven. Oh, natural twenty. Yeah. Roll it. So uh, I've got two D ten. Where's my ten? That would do. Ooh. Oh, ten. Good work. Fucking hell. Seventeen. Elbow. Seventeen total. Wait, yep. is it two D ten for the normal one? Uh, so yeah. So it's four D ten. So it's four D ten because you crit. Jesus. Okay. So seventeen. Oh my god. Twenty-seven. <laughs> 37. Thirty-seven. Oh. <laughs> oh, Where were wrong. these rolls before? <laughs> what the hell? Sarek, on his knees, still laughing, still maniacal, still elated. <laughs> you stupid fucking elves. <laughs> Doesn't respond to the count yet. Um, you get a whole 
six points. Six is enough. Um, Alexi, with the healing potion, and we'll just set up, uh, like, kind of look at Milo, look at the mess, look over at Sarek, and just go over and just try and grab him. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. What is it you're laughing at? What oh. have you done? Something we should have done a long time ago. What is it? I would like to go now, please. What have you done? And he looks to the ceiling, and that red glow has now disappeared. Eat him. What have you done? And a tall, muscular human figure suddenly appears behind you, D22. Strongly built in a fine white shirt, a purple vest, a silver and green tie, tailored trousers, broad build, huge chest, thick arms, deep reddish brown skin, piercing white eyes looking over each and every single one of you. I, uh, well done, my son. We will consider our deal fulfilled. If you would mind on handing my good man there. I want to pull Sarek up to his feet. Cool. Spin him round so his back is pressed against my chest. Absolutely. Who is this? What? It matters not what happens to him now. Please kill him if you must. Who are you? Oh, a concerned bystander. But very vested interest in all of this. What has he done? Oh, a great many things. But something that has elated us, or evaded us, and elated us, I suppose, for some time. Not quite the way we expected, but it's happened now, and that's all that matters. I believe you were the one to make the final blow. Where are my manners? I am Rubel. Ah. No? Good. None of you have heard of me. That's probably for the best. Uh, if you wouldn't mind unhanding him now, please. Make a wisdom saving throw. Hey. Yeah. You immediately feel compelled. You release Sarah and just push him towards this figure. Well done, my child. He takes him. I suggest you get some rest. What you have done today here is a great, great thing, and I'm sure others will want to hear. Thank you for your time and your service. Particularly, give my regards to your queen. And with that, a bright red flaming portal opens up behind him. He grabs Sarek and he begins to step through. If there's anything you'd like to do or say in these dying moments, you can. You are no longer compelled. Was he humanoid, did you say, or just human? He looked human. He looked human, okay. <coughs> Let me know if this is too much. Alexi is going to pull his longbow and fire an arrow at Sarek's head. Go for it. Make an attack roll. Straight roll. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Shit! It flies through and the figure just waves his hand. Clatters uselessly to the ground. Anyone else? I got a bonus on my Force Ballista. Go for it. Go for it. Fire my force police to into there. Um, I have an important question. How long has it been since Zask went? We'll say this died. is still within the last minute or so. Cool. In that Time case, is running out, but we'll go D twenty two first. Fine. Yeah. Okay. So mine's a bonus. So I just I just straight roll it to the eights, right? Uh, I guess. But I've already done thirty. Because it's my bonus action from the original. This is, we're not an initiative. You've got this as a freebie, so go for it. Perfect. All right. Do you, if you need to make an attack roll first, or is it just a straight? Just a straight, because I'm such a good shot. <laughs> Although I'm missing my. <laughs> such a great shot. Six. Nine. Nine points of damage? Yeah. No, Where sorry. Did... Sorry, scrub that, scrub that, scrub that. Sorry. <laughs> oh, 18. 18. <laughs> the arrow misses, but. Taking the cannon down. <laughs> Sarek falls limp, dead in this person's arms. The body smoking and smothering. Oh, I explained. You got it out of your system now. 
That was for Mayway. Well, Mayway had a part to play in this. Be gone. And he waves his hand, strength saving throw, please. I'm sorry, who's talking now? Uh, sorry, that was a bad voice. <laughs> that was Ruble. Ruble. That was the humanoid. Yeah, that was... Well, 19. 19. Yeah, plus he waves, and you feel this immense force push against you, and you hold, taking... Um, uh, 21 points of bludgeoning damage as Jesus. this force just strikes your body. Uh, that is halved. Um, wow. Yeah, digging into the ground and holding that. He carelessly tosses Sarek through the hole. I will be seeing you all sooner than you think. Is there anything else you'd like to do? I'm going to run over to Zask. Cool. I'm going to grab the diamond Great. out of my little pouch um, and just go like, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with this and sort of hold it um, like on his little little lizardy chest um, and cast Revivify. Cool. Make an arcana check for me. <coughs> okay. I did. Yeah, there's, there's reasons. Yeah, no, I, I suspect you may be gone, gone, maybe. Um, but it's worth trying. Also, I'm very bad at Arcana, so who, you know, I'm never going to know what happened. Just a nine! <laughs> you place the diamond on Zask's chest. You don't know how to do this. <laughs> Zask. The world goes dark, and you feel the strange sensation watch, wash all over you. Your spirit lifts up, and you can see this unfolding as you sort of rise. Then you sort of stop. It feels like there's something still tying, bouncing, sitting. You look around, and you look up, and you can see there's a small glimmer of light way above you, sparkling, but that is sort of slowly... The apertures are sort of like closing in front of you, and suddenly it's dark and lonely and silent and you sit and you wait and you wait and you wait for what feels like something's not quite right something's missing roll a d100 for me please Thirty-five. cool we'll come back to that <laughs> The revivify doesn't seem to take hold, for whatever reason. Ruble steps through, and it opens. A flash of red flame, and that same smell of sulfur disappears. Fabian, what are you doing? Um, Fabian is just kind of in shock, <coughs> wiping uh, tears off of his face. This was a lot. This was a lot for a kid fresh out of uh, his uh, parents' apron strings. D twenty two. Um, D twenty two. Turns and starts walking out the. Okay. Out the door. Yeah. Um, as you go past, because I'm there, Myla's gonna get up, stop in front of you and give you a hug. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, D22 um, stops and takes the hug and his uh, right eye just glows back red like it used to. And then it's kind of filament just starts to a little bit, and the expression stays the same. And he carries on walking. And he gives a kick to the side of um, <laughs> Minnie's chassis as he does it, and carries on walking. Zask, you've been bouncing around for what feels like a long time. You just heard a little bump, like a metallic bump echo. No answer. That feels weird. There's like something tied to you. What is this? Can I try and move? 
you float, but it's like you're tied. It's like you're a balloon tied to one spot. I try and feel. Do I still have a body? You still feel something. Your little lizardy body. Okay. You don't feel pain. <laughs> don't think I'm supposed to be here. So I'm not supposed. To. Can anyone hear me? I'll try and move as hard as I can with you, all my little lizardy strength. You kick. <laughs> you kick your little legs. Nothing seems to take. The only way seems is down. Is there something to pull? It's like a tether, like tied around your stomach. Can I feel something going down, like a rope? That yeah, I can... you feel, and there's there's give, there's purchase. I, like pull. You start like, pull to pull. Down. Yeah, and you go, and you pull, and you pull, and you pull. Myla, mm-hmm. you look down at Zask's body, and the wounds and the battle scars seem to be slowly putting themselves back together. Uh, uh, did it work? Um, Zask? Are you, you hear Myla's voice. Can you, can you hear me? Are you okay? No, am I okay? Am I? It's not quite coming through yet, but there's like, it's like a shifting, echoing noise. A voice pushing through. Try yeah, faster. you get closer, and you, know, you feel like you're getting towards the end of the tether, and suddenly, you see yourself lying there with this ghostly white rope, and like the weird outlines of your friends nearby. Oh, what would you like to do? He's gonna look up one more time. There's nothing. Oh, Pure God. black. Go like that. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, <laughs> I want to go that way. Cool. And you go and you dig and you pull down, and you're right in front of your body. You do the only thing that feels natural. You dive head first. Zask wakes up coughing and (laughs) spluttering. You are back with one hit point. Did it? Did it work? Did it work? Did I do? Did I do it right? I. What did you do? I. I think I brought you back from the dead. I'm not sure. Has the diamond gone? No, diamond's still there. Oh, um, maybe it wasn't me. I don't know. I've never done this before. D22, are you still here for this or have you left? Walking. Well, uh, yeah, still walking. I would say you do hear this going on, though. Okay. Cool. Um, uh, how how, how do you feel? How do you feel? How are you doing? Bad. Bad. Bad? Bad. Bad. Um, It's going to, like, reach back. (laughs) It's like pool of blood. (laughs) It's gone. Oh. Your wounds are oh. clearing. There's no scar. There's no pain. You can feel like a bit of moisture, but you know where you got hit. Like especially you got cleaved by the giant. It's not there. I think that giant killed me. I um, it certainly seems that way. Um, but your back. I saw D twenty two. I saw that. I saw him. He was here. Yeah, he left again. Was he? You you look and you can see him. In the distance, just leaving. Mr. T22? Clunk, 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 clunk. Uh, you can go after him if you like. I... What happened? What's supposed to happen after you die? Look, I don't, I, you know, I do history and, <laughs> and I don't, and then, you know, with the gods and everything, and do you know who's religious here? So I need, I need a cleric. No. I'm a cleric! Oh god! Not me. Um, I don't have any idea. Uh, Alexi, you're a death, no, in. death adjacent no, person. No. <laughs> oh, uh, to lie down again. Alexi. <laughs> During this period, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know what's going on. For some reason, it's a little bit uncomfortable going near Milo right now. Um, you also feel very empty, like uh, something's missing. Oh, fun. Uh, <laughs> and he's gonna it. sort of like stagger Stag his moment. way over and see uh, the Fabian is still in tears, uh, just kind of like red faced. Yeah, uh, like then he's gonna kind of on his face. Um, like basically just sit down next to Fabian with that kind of <sighs> you, you, know, you this is this is a, 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 a lot for a, anyone you are you all right um, 
No. 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 Um, I, I'd probably be d- dead if not for you, so. Um, I'm happy to help. Uh, come on. What happened? I, I think I may have made a very big mistake. Come on. And he's going to hold his hand up for baby. Ask, what are you doing? It's really reevaluating my entire life. <laughs> I mean, it's only a few seconds long at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, you look at Zask, and the once sort of like golden eyes now grey. Still pupils, but grey. Um, what colour were your eyes before? Um, personal uh, questions were. You can look if you like. Were they always grey? They're not grey. They're not grey. Uh, well, golden. they are grey. now. I don't know what to tell you. Um, if um, Alexi and... I, I imagine there's, uh, due to wounds, a fair amount of, like, equal support <laughs> walking over. Uh, Alexi, can you... You, um, first of all, it's not exactly death adjacent, but it's not really human. What, 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 what is it? Uh, Zask wanted to know what happens after you come back from the dead, because we think that's what happened. I tried to bring him back, but I'm not sure if it worked. Um, also, you killed me. What? Yeah. I wish I could say yeah. I was surprised. Uh, yeah, you did. Hold, hold on, wait, I'm, you, you died. Well, I, I was unconscious for a bit, I think. I don't really know. I I'm just, I won't back so up. So sorry. I, it's okay. Do you know why you decided to stab uh, no, me? I, I, I was, I was in front of him and then s- suddenly he, 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 he just uh, reached out and then it went dark. Yeah. Next thing I know, I was being thrown against a wall. As- as the three of you come to terms with, with this, is ask. <laughs> what ball? D22 is walking out. <laughs> and you are reevaluating your entire life. I've got one hit point. D22 gives you a flick, you'd be back down again. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> is, he work, is he walking out with full hit points? No, no, no I absolutely not. Absolutely beating last oh, year. yeah. The, the I like think 20. you might have the most hit points. Is D22 no? sitting no. and watching, or is he just wandering around? No, D22 has D- 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 he's, he's just, uh, he's, he's not he's, what, he's just, yeah, walking, just walking yeah, away. Six, I think. Is that Craig David? <laughs> just walking. <laughs> From the Zasks in my life. Oh, yeah, it's written there. Um, um, <coughs> I'm gonna stagger up. I'm gonna uh, take out some scrolls and look at them and let things scatter around me on the ground. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at Minnie. Split in half, smoking and smoldering on the ground. <laughs> Put a hand on Minnie. Let's cast the mending cantrip. One bolt screws back in. <laughs> <laughs> can can I go to Zask? Yeah. She's like, Professor, look at me. And Alexi is going to try. Um, this is not something he knows how to do or anything like that. Um, Oh, yes. I would like to use Hunter's Bane. Okay. So Alexa <laughs> is going to sort of stand close to Zask and spend like a few minutes carefully examining them. Um, this will know if this is a thing. Hunter's Bane gives me advantage on survival and intelligence checks to track and or understand fey fiends or undead. Oh, Jesus. Go for it. Uh, Intelligence? Sure. Natural 20. Oh, my God. Finally. Not undead. Well, you're... 
You're not undead. I'm... Yes. I'm... But you're not... I'm gonna... Quite alive. You're... At least, well, you will look a little... You don't look so handsome yourself! It, your eyes is somewhere. It's not... Nobody, nobody, look! Mr. D22! And I am going to start storming angrily down this corridor. The wound healed itself. I have bones to pick with you, you stop right there! Stop! Stop! He, he doesn't stop, but he slows his walk down. <laughs> <and I'll laughs> <pass> <laughs> <laughs> I'm like stomping and then just like also just like slowing down and like, like it's quite, it's quite, I'm very cross, I'm very cross. <laughs> I've got Great bones. Great role play. <laughs> <laughs> You're nailing it. Thank you. Buzzed. <coughs> it sounds some, somewhat ironic that you are cross with me. Hi, you, hi, I, you, I am very cross with you. How's that new Warforged working out for you? <laughs> Yes, that, mm, they did mm. fine job. Correct me if I'm wrong, but another Warforged had to turn up and save the day. Maybe next time, choose your Warforged better. You, did you, did you save the day? Or did you leave me again? Did you leave me again after saying that you wouldn't? I would say that it was even. From what I noticed, you were getting pretty chummy with another Warforged and did not need me for your help. If you chose to replace me, then you are of no value for me either. Is that... Is that how... relationships... work for you? You cast me aside first, so I simply cast you aside second. Mm -hmm. I call this revenge! Is there no... Is there no... I understand that you are different. I, I, I understand that you're not like other, other people, and I appreciated that about you. But is there? Does the bond that, that, that we had not, not mean anything? It did mean something to me before you found another titan in your life, and cast me aside like a new upgrade. You left. You were cross with your friends and you left. I... I had my life's work. It was everything I ever wanted. I thought you would under... understand. I thought... I thought that was more important. I thought my work was more important than... our... professional... Professional relationship. If it means anything, I probably would have tried to revive you after having killed Sarek. But I did promise a friend I would do that first. Once that mission was complete, I am then available to help other friends. My friends appear to be dwindling. My, uh... My friends have dwindled. Two. I. They did not support me in the way that I thought I deserved. I think you understand that? Yes, absolutely. When I was just a young Warforged, my model number was 2222221111221. And when the new model came out, I was told by my owner, Aiden, that I would never be replaced. And that as long as I upgrade myself, I remain important and special to people. Until one day, he came across some stone giants who robbed us and killed him and ruined my life. So when I see my friends pick someone else over me and a new model, of course I have no friends anymore and I am worthless old model. So you cannot blame me for being slightly, finding word, pissed <laughs> at what happened. don't know about your friends and what's happened to you and I don't know if we are friends. I said we weren't but I think we are. I, I was sort of pretending we weren't but 
I kind of wanted us to be. But, um, when my friend hurt me and I left her, I had no one. You see? And, and the outcome of that was not optimal for me, for anyone. And I wonder if maybe instead of just leaving, maybe friendships require some sort of pain, hardship, work to maintain, but at the end of it, you've still got someone. And that sort of makes it worth it. You're saying you can modify and build friendships, just like you can modify and build things. I'm saying if you throw something away because it's not worth working perfectly, then you have nothing. It's better to have something that you can improve upon. And you still think you may be able to improve me? I think I was trying to use you to replace something that I'd already thrown away and that I shouldn't have. So yes then. Now I'm not so sure anymore. I, I think I may have died or not died. I may be dead. It's very confusing. Um, my perspective has somewhat changed. I, uh, uh, I realised when I was dying that no one would know. No one would. No one. No one would know what happened. I don't think. I don't think you or your friends would be hurrying off to inform the next of kin. It would just be. Just be a. Just be an end. No one would even know it was an end. It would just be gone. And well, that's. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? D22. Mm hmm. Are you really going to throw away what you had? Not with me, with them. It looks like they have already chose someone else, but unfortunately they were not as strong as I was, so probably they've learned their lesson now. Uh, uh, hmm. Possibly, or. They were pretty quick to move on. Were they? Well, you became very close to a Warforged. Yeah, no. Okay, note one, that Warforged was not my friend. Uh, Millie at all. So, sorry, Minnie. It, it doesn't, it doesn't have sentience, it doesn't know. Secondly, one can actually have more than one friend, and that's, that's a whole, even of the same, uh, you know, species or make, but that's a sort of different different matter. Anyway, this is not about me and this is not about Minnie. Minnie's got they were, they were called Minnie. Anyway. I, where were you going? If I'm honest, I wasn't quite sure. Just talk to them first. Just don't just throw it away. I think that sounds reasonable. What are the rest of you doing while this conversation takes place? Uh, when I look after Zask leaving and I just like, um, do you guys know that, uh, <laughs> that, that, that Warforged? <coughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. um, that, okay. that, that was, uh, out. He's like on our side. Yeah. Oh. He's, um, he's going through a difficult time. I feel that. Mm. I think we all probably feel that a, a, a little bit. Mm. I don't feel good. Um, I just think we need to get out of this negative no, space. No, I, I don't feel good. Um. Something's wrong. What? 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 I, um. I don't know. Something's not right. Uh, like a 
I feel like a piece of me is gone. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 like it, I feel empty. Okay. Uh, can you feel any emotions at all, or? Nah. Oh, you feel emotion, but there just seems to be a part slightly missing. Your friend you betrayed. Can we <laughs> introspect that feel? Oh. <laughs> 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 you know, I, y- y- yes, I, I, I still feel, I, I just... When I woke, it, it just, it something gone. Um, well, we could like try and get it back. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think I think it's more like the on um, the floor no, somewhere. No, no, no. no. <coughs> more of the um, well, I, I hate to say spiritual sense, but um. Can you still do the fangs and stuff? Like vibes. Yeah. Yes. So my vibe is a bit off. Uh, I try and do the fangs. Fangs still work. Okay. Well. Um. <sighs> you know, it's it's. I'm probably tiredness. That's all. <laughs> I'm sure it's absolutely fine. I mean, you've got that cursed sword and everything. Yes. Yes. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly what it is. It, 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 let's. Let's. Let's not worry about. It. Let's. Um. Let's go and like lie down for about two weeks. Is that all right? <sighs> let's go after D and Zask. <sighs> Hopefully they've had... Yes, also, we has all of our money. I don't think we'll be getting that back anytime soon. Well, I fucking hope so. I need the money. Why? Just slide <laughs> <kind of, laughs> over here, that, and you hear the locks on his front. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alexei will, yeah, try to sort of walk in, using the chief falchion as, like, a walking stick. Um, Myla's going to go up alongside um, um, Fabian to be like, you're all right. We made it out. Totally. You did real good. You too. Thanks. Um, let's get you out. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, that, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, I'm like a big fan of that idea. Cool. Let's cool. Let's go. Go and, um, yeah. Yeah. Like lie down for a long time. Ever. Yeah. Ever. Oh, that sounds great, actually. Yeah, I could do that. So and who's you... the shiny guy? His name's D22. Oh. And as you all begin to make your exit, D22, you approach the group. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Or shall we pick this up? <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's right. got, um, I think he turns, he goes to check with his hand for the second time today. He goes to check his moral compass, realizes it's not there. Aww. Goes up to his head to ask D2, realizes it's not there. Looks behind him, realizes there's nothing there. He looks over at his friends. And you look at your friends, and battered and broken and bruised, and probably a little on the fence and apprehensive. And then you look beyond them, and you see a, a slight white glow as this woman in armor steps through. Well built, you've seen her before. As Joyra steps through. And then another cleric and another cleric. And then a small skinny boarding man about five foot two steps through a, a blue portal. Hello, terribly sorry. Uh, we just received, oh my god. Right, good, stay there. Uh, Joyra, locking eyes with you. A rapier at her side. Uh, one moment, please. Um, yes, good, and he gets on his knees and begins drawing intricate circles on the ground. Myla immediately leaps in front of Alexi. That's absolutely fine. It's fine. She's not moving. <laughs> Joyra? Joyra. You turn and there are other clerics on the other side all with the symbols of Arathis, all in, in armor. No weapons are drawn. Joera doesn't acknowledge any of you, gives you a 
a slight nod. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, one moment. Um, seems something quite dramatic has happened. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. You know this heinous bitch? <laughs> <laughs> he suits you a glance. Hey, a come on. You did try to kill me. Dude, what? It was justified. Joy. Joy. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, excuse me, yes, my father... Dude. Uh, my father will be here in a moment to explain. Um, is it ready yet? And yes, one, one moment, one, one moment. Oh, and oh, oh just straight up, straight up. The, the, the human finishes drawing circles on the ground. <laughs> yes, good. Right, everyone ready? Uh, and perimeter secure, good. He speaks a magical incantation and suddenly a blue flash. Several more clerics walk out and from the back walks a human looking in his late 70s, early 80s, on a slight walking can and <coughs> coughing a little bit as the sight of Ramas steps out. Hello. <laughs> oh, I see. You've been cleaning up after a long time mistake. And that's where we're going to get into tonight's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't kill anyone. Well, I kind of did. Maybe. Oh did I? Didn't I? I don't know. It's late. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We're going to process that. I'm going to talk about that. Look at these faces. I love it. 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 Fucking love it. Uh, hang around. Who lives who dissection coming right up in just a few days. Thank you so much. It's going to uh, be nonsense. We're all just going to be there like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whew. Relax. Good. Thank you. Have a great one. We'll see you next time. I've got one more this year, uh, and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, yeah, shit, guy, you, you said you said some horrible things to me, like oh, um, sorry, this. Well, this isn't see you later. Well. This is goodbye. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. D22 you were having a like, big strop. You. you had a big old strop, quite specifically <laughs> to me, uh, and I was like, oh yeah, I do disappoint everyone, and you were just like, peace out, bitch. Off I go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I'm wow. learning so much about how a woman from you. Seriously. All right, Jeff, we good? <laughs> the toxic SD card that keeps me brain somewhere. The compact flash. You know, you haven't got you've got like a like non solid state drive and it's just been like yeah it's a 5400 rpm yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're just overclocking a little bit too much <laughs> all right nerds oh.